Hello. Hello. Don't you like the way we just kind of pop in like that? Isn't that fun? Well, How you never you? tell me when we go live, and that, I guess, is the surprise factor is on that. Well, you know the song. You should know it by now. I go in pretty much each the same time, so it should be. Well, hello and welcome <laughs> here. Good evening. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon and good morning to everybody that is just coming in. Hello. This is Tuesday here in Montreal right now. It's around 8 p.m. and we're live again. Again. <laughs> yes. And again. And again. <laughs> but uh, right now we're going to be live uh, talking about Tuesday Tech Talk, which for us is one of our favorite uh, times of the week where you guys get to ask our uh, questions and we all get to discuss them. But before we do that, we're going to get into the subject of uh, the evening uh, where we discuss uh, the recent changes and the impact on YouTube and YouTubers and uh, how does it uh, really impact your bottom line in views and in ad revenue uh the unnamed uh, the unnamed monster <laughs> how does it impact like your that. youtube life i like that the unnamed monster yes oh God, we're about to set up so right we're going to be we talking about that and discussing that bottom line in both uh, your money value and your views value what is going on what are the predictions of what you should be following up for uh but that's right after we do a little uh, house cleaning here, as we always do. That's right, folks. So let them come in. Folks, let them know what's going on. If you can hit the like button, tweet it, tell friends all that good stuff. Uh, <laughs> something's really going on with the numbers tonight, folks. It seems like 30 is the number they don't want us to pass. We're going to ask you guys to help us out by hitting the like button, tweeting it out, telling friends all that good stuff. It's an absolute pleasure to have you all in here and love to meet your friends and have more in here and all that good stuff. You guys are absolutely awesome. Like Xenia said, this is our favorite night of the week. We'll talk about our topic just for a few minutes, and I'm going to jump into all the great questions you folks have. Xenia's going to copy them over, and then right after we're done that, we're going to get right into it. If you're new into YouTube or been into it for years, this is the place to be. Remember, even if you're at 100 or 200 subscribers, you have a new perspective maybe that none of us have ever thought. Your opinion matters, and no question is too small. And we don't have all the answers. But together, we can figure a lot of things out. So uh, something is going on with YouTube. The Panda Photographer, how are you? And it most definitely is in many places, in many places. And The Farming Life, yes, good evening to you. It's great to see. Hope you're doing fantastic. Hope you're doing great. I got to do a check on this guy. You know, we're talking about uh, channels of all sizes coming in and that. And this is one absolutely phenomenal channel. Oh, yeah, 36.5 uh, thousand. Well, there wow, you go, well, congratulations such on that success. That is awesome. And that's a channel. There's a great example of just an honest person doing an honest channel. Yeah. Uh, honest videos, bringing themselves to the forefront of it. And the fruits in the labor are the right there before your very eyes. So great to have you in here and hope you're doing fantastic. Hope you and the family are doing well. It's great to see you guys. Woo, question time. That's right, Blue Line Garage. That's right, it sure is. Mm -hmm. Leonard Shea, how are you? The source for truth. Oh, my God almighty. Good to see you. Leonard is a fellow Canadian, been with us for a long, long time. Oh, uh, pen photographer. I'm sorry. We got to remove that, though. We can't be using the Q word. I hate saying that because I sound like back when people would say, oh, don't say subscribe, say pumpkin, say pumpkin. I hate saying it like that. But it is, lots of live streams are getting taken down for it, even in the chat, and that's uh, why, sorry about that, uh, we can't, we actually did a whole uh, thing on it the other night, if you haven't checked it out, let me bring that up here for a second, this was a really great example of shadow banning, and we talked a little bit further in depth about it with some examples, not on what's the current uh, situation, but we do talk about the current situation as well into it. But really brought up some smoking guns on how YouTube handles sensitive topics. And yes, the current events do fall under sensitive topic guidelines, unfortunately. Yeah. Exactly right. The best place to grow and learn. That's why I'm here. Thank you, Pooja Studios, for all you do. Oh, my God, Farming Life. You're always so kind. Oh, thank you're you so such much. A, we're honored and we're always a pleasure to have you. Pixelpia, yes, your favorite night of the week. And it's ours as well because great channels like you, Pixelpia, are in the house. Great to have you. Mount View Turning, how are you? Hope you're doing well. No worries the panda photographer i know you didn't know but i just wanted to tell you that's yeah. right that's uh, it weird also about. applies to the titles and descriptions of your own creations so i would really suggest uh, uh take a peek of that uh video there is a resource in the description uh and that has even more of actually one of the video because i got two website uh two uh, channels that night and one actually is the smoking gun about the q word yep. and i actually show exactly what happened with it so yeah. hope you can check it out it's called i can see you you can't see me and it's the featured video 
on the top of our channel. It's also in the chat. The link is in the chat. Oh, there you go. There. See, she just keeps thinking of everything. So I hope you guys will a check out. A very substantial after. list. Yes, Casey Green, right? Very surprising, too. Uh, and it's been adding and adding and updating as we go. We have talked about that a couple of times. Uh, but uh, considering all that's going on, I decided to bring that up again. Grant McIntosh is in the house. What's going on? Great to see you. I know he loves those emojis. Oh my God, he is getting <laughs> he's getting his money's worth just out of those emojis. The me with my pouty birthday face and the lips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the life of S and R. I'm saving your question. We'll definitely get to the questions as well. And For thank sure. you so much. That's a great question that we can look at. Suzex, oh, I always love when you come in and say that. I always love that. Such a great greeting. Hello, my lovelies. How are you doing tonight? Uh, Hope you're doing well. How are you doing today, guys? Let us know. Marilyn Art Design, good to see you. Paper Scissors Vacations, oh my. Our member of the week is in the chat as well. One of the members of the week. That's right, folks. And I was just about to talk about that. If you have not considered it yet, folks, as you see a lot of people in here have badges in front of their names, they became members. And literally for the price of a super chat, you can get in and all the other benefits that come with it. We have had signups for about 130 right now and growing. Thanks to all you folks. The support really helps us and gives us a chance to do new things with our channel. And we're really going to be taking advantage of them and giving you guys money's worth and then some. And of course, the price are Canadian dollars. And you know what our Canadian dollars are like right now. So that's an extra plus right now. A special not brought on by us. But nonetheless, for you folks south of the border, across the pond and so forth. So make sure to head on over, folks, and just click on that join button if you don't follow the link. And there you go, folks. There's two packages to choose from, Wrenched Up and Wrenched Up Plus. Wrenched Up is about three thirty, roughly, American a month, about 7 and change for the Wrenched Up Plus. It really helps us a lot. You get access to custom emojis, badges in front of your name, unlisted live streams, a private Facebook group, and much more to come, including our shoutouts of the week. Yes, we do everything with a wheel. We do shout outs. Our thing. And Saturday night, we do our draw for our members of the week. And the winners are listed here for the rest of the week, right down here on the side. And our Wrenched Up Plus member of the week is Paper Scissors Vacations. Oh my. And our Wrenched, uh, uh, wrenched Up uh, uh, wrenched up one. I'm sorry, I keep getting the Wrenched Up the Plus tonight. Uh, straight Up Slots. So there you go. I'm going to try once more. <laughs> wrenched Up Plus winner for the week Paper Scissors and Vacations. Oh my. And Wrenched Up member of the week, Straight Up Slot. So make sure to check out both of those channels. And hopefully you can get in on the memberships and start enjoying the benefits as well. Get in the draw for this week because it's coming up this Saturday. So get your name in there now, folks, by checking out those memberships. Sign on. It helps us a lot. It gives us a chance to do better, th more things for you guys we want to do. Haven't been around lately, Pooh Studios, and miss you guys. Things are hard right now. We understand completely. It's just great to see you, the panel photographer. You hang in there, and better days are ahead. And plug your ears, folks. Plug your ears, and especially if you are new here, plug mm -hmm. your ears because it's time for Super Sick Super Chat, Super Sick Super Chat, Super Sick Super Chat, Super Sick Super Chat, Super Sick Super Chat. The GLA member channel. Thank you so much for that unicorn. Thank you so much for the unicorn. Thank you. Exenia is so su suffering from a toothache, folks, at the moment. So she's really giving it her all for the super chats. I got to point that out. She really <laughs> is. Uh, Going above and beyond, uh, she's been suffering with that for a couple of days, but with the current events, not so easy to deal with right now. Yeah, we both are a little bit un under the line uh, <laughs> lately. Uh, KG Place and Robert White, yes, it is about that as well. It's going to be about views and about your bottom line as well. Exploring Stranger Things UK, hello, how are you? Say hello, guys, in the chat if you just came on in so we can welcome you. La la, Lydia's life's on the phone. Oh, no worries, no worries. I was just about to say hi to you all. And I am going to start off, folks. Uh, first off, I'm going to say hi to our members. I always say I feel like a captain on a plane. I want to I wanna say hello to our blue pilot. Uh, yeah, they'd be blue for this one, yeah. No, red. Which is red? Red. Our red members. Our Pusha Pack members who have chosen to fly with us again today. Our prestigious members. We have Suze X sitting in the crowd, folks. And we got RC Stinger in the crowd. And we got Paper Scissors and Vacations. Oh my. Though they wrenched up plus member of the week in here. We got La La Lydia's Life who is on her phone. And we have Josie's Place. Jenny O'Brien. Grant McIntosh. Expedition Greg and Bougie Boy 2001. That's right. Thank you so much to our esteemed members for being here. It's such a pleasure to have you all. 
And I want to say hello to, oh, another member just came in, one live, or just showed up here in the bar. Great to see you as well. Hope you're doing fantastic. I also want to say hi to Watch Me Do Stuff. Totally us. Tommy Travels is in the house. Hey, Tommy. The Panda Photographer is here. The Life of s and R, the JLA member. The Farming Life is with us. Our member that just joined today just came in. Uh, Vicky Marie Living Life, how are you doing? Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. SMT Mainline, what is going on? Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Punchy Paints, well, my golly, the guy's been with us right from the very get go. Philip Cockram, how are you doing? Great to see you, buddy. We have Mud Nuts Reviews in the house. Miss Full Roller Sarah is in the house. We have uh, Mina NGTV, welcome. We have MFCP Woodworking, Mega House TV in the house. Maryland Art Design is here. Another one of my fellow Canucks, Leonard Shea, is in the house. Lady July is here with us. That's right, as well as Casey Green. Jim Apple, he was with us this morning. He was sans the teeth, but he's here. Do you have your teeth in now, Jim? Let us know. We have Inspire So Many. We have Hedge Plays and Robert Wide. We have Exploring Strange Things UK. Found a Buried came in. Another one of our members. Great to see you. We got Drew Douglas in the house, Dave Booth Angler, Cooking Green is in the house, that's right. And we have Christina Trammell here. Blue Line Garage, a great channel, just found us recently, great to have you back. Amory's Life at Home is in the house. Bacchus is in here, folks, you heard me right. Amanda's Motivation and More is here. Above Paranormal, great to see you. The list is a little chatty, folks. If I missed anybody, just say hi, I want to say hello to you too. Tootsie, Rolling Stone Travels, what's going on? Great to see you. Folks, if you haven't hit the like button, please do. It's been a tumultuous, uh, tumultuous? Uh, oh my God, I can't even say the word today. I don't know can't that talk. word. It's been a crazy couple of days. There you go. So uh, <laughs> all that help really does make a big difference. Gary, uh, Brent Ariels, by the way, how are you? Great to see you. Oh, we got our first one, our first member of the evening, folks. That's right, there we go. Pleasure to have you aboard. Totally Us has just become the most recent member. Welcome aboard. Totally Us, you just got wrenched up. Congratulations and welcome to the pack. Yes, and thank you so much. Uh, just refresh your browser and you'll have access to all those custom emojis. And of course, all the members in here flash the new member emoji and welcome Totally Us to the Pusha Pack. It's a pleasure to have you aboard. And if you want to get on it too, folks, like I say, for the price of a Super Chat, you get so much more. Check out that link for memberships. Gives us a chance to do bigger and better things for you folks. Blizzard, FPV, what's going on? Another fellow Canuck from the Midwest. How are you doing? My non-traditional life, what is going on? Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Lots of great channels in here, folks. It's a pleasure to have you all. Yes, oh, thank you so much. Totally, us. Uh, we do appreciate it. And like I say, it's great to have you aboard. Senya sounds tired. Senya has a toothache. She's actually had it for days now. We've been trying to get it dealt with. Yeah, I was supposed to do a root canal before everything closed, and then everything closed, and now nothing is open. And now I'm just yeah. praying and hoping for pills of any kind before. We so we're trying to work on doing so. Tomorrow, yeah. if that doesn't happen, we're going into uh, we're going into we're going to deal with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Andrew here is with his voice down, so we are really uh, we're a healthy bunch. We we're are a bunch. healthy bunch, That's uh, right. but otherwise we're fine. So don't worry. Don't it's worry, all we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. The RC Air Marshal, how are you? Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Newfoundlander, Ignalis family, welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to see you. Hope you're all doing great. It's uh, Pari John here. That's who I was just talking to I about. I want blah, but I want to ask him. Did you ask him a question? No, he was asking. We're talking about your tooth. But I want to ask him if he has his pants on. That's what is the main object here. I need. I feel tired and need to lay down. Yes. I agree. Let's let's go do that. <laughs> oh my God! Do you folks watch Tony and Chelsea? You know there's a guy here, okay? Uh, I'm working on one side of the house. He's working on the other side of the house. It's like Senia! Mm -hmm. Like something happened, okay? I'm coming. I'm running, and there he is, showing me this clip. They, they're, they're a couple, Tony and Chelsea. They're a big channel, about 1.5 mil or so like that. Great channel. They're, 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 and I've always said they had a little bit of inspiration in what we do. And I've always said we're a little bit like them in some ways. And it was so much today. They did a piece, and I'm like, Xen, you got to see this. This is so you. 
And long story short, they were reviewing photos. And one was of a guy who uh, helped out uh, uh, Raven with the... Uh, 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 yeah, Raven with... Uh, put the chicks back in the nest, blah, 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 blah. And like crows do, they kind of gave him a gift. They took some uh, branches and put on uh, tabs from bottle caps... Uh, from uh, cans. Put them on and gave it to him. So she said, oh, how nice that is and that. And then he talks after about another picture, like 10 minutes down the road. Said they built this bird sanctuary and like that. And she, the, this girl, Chelsea, jumps right back into it. And she's like, I, I wish I wish you could find a way to build me a crow's one like that. And still back on the subject, I'm like, that's so exenia. No matter how much when she gets something in her head, I know the way I explain it makes no sense. But nonetheless, I guarantee you, you have to watch it sometime. It, it, they talk like twins sometimes. I think it's a wife thing. I truly do. I truly believe well, it's I a wife thing. I can relate to her. I mean, I, I got right away what she was talking about. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but uh, he, he calls me all the way out here. You know, look at this. Ha ha ha. She <laughs> sounds just like you. <laughs> well, it's true. Very <laughs> funny. Yeah, so this is how we are. Hashtag cabin fever is back. Yeah, back, yeah, exactly. Back, exactly. Saying. You're watching our breakdown day by day, folks, yeah. on here. Fi we don't need to vlog it. So We're if you don't live. find us helpful and you don't find us handy, you can watch us have our breakdown from the isolation. I you know, I just thought about something. People try to vlog their experience. We yeah. don't need to vlog anything. We're going live. Yeah, you're catching it all like, right before your very raw, eyes. Every raw, everyday experience and decline, yeah, you know, of exactly. uh, humanity uh, here. So uh, Definitely. Literally, you'll be able yep. to see before and after. So. Yep. So have to vlog nothing. keep tuning in, folks, to see if we go completely batshit crazy or maybe we're there already and just haven't admitted to it. You never know. Use clove oil in an emergency for I the tooth. I have tea tree oil. I read about clove oil. I don't have clove oil. I don't know. Can I make it somehow? How about stove oil? Maybe I have dried cloves. I don't know. Can I make clove oil? Anybody out there? No. Can I make it? Uh, okay. Hey there, witch girl. How are you? Great to see you. You're doing fantastic. Uh, thank you so much, guys. If we can uh, prompt you to click the like button and share it out, we do appreciate that. Thank you so, so much uh, for those of you that already did. Las Vegas Jigsaw Sky Pilot is on the second one of 1,000 pieces. Oh, my God. Oh my I, I used to love those, but then my cat would lay on them and destroy all of them. So maybe I should get back into it. There's those stories. There's a, that's, that's like a while ago. There, that's what I was talking about. There's an Xenia one right there. The Artist yeah. Devil. Hello. How are you? Computer Chick Productions. Good to see you as well. Five Angels Vlog is here. Good to see you. Uh, I do not think I could go live now. The world is too unstable and so are my emotions sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? As much as it is for you guys, and you guys say that in the chat, a little bit of escape, I think for us it is as well. <laughs> yeah, it, it is as sad as it is. It, 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 is. Oh, it works both ways. So <coughs> as always, you guys help us, we help you. <laughs> I had to come in 20, time, uh, 20 times to get audio. I know WTF, Mike. It, it's... It's 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 not an easy feat being on YouTube the last couple of weeks. I, I hear you. Thank you for coming in and, and hearing it. Sorry you had to go through all that. Yeah, that does thank suck. you for the effort, though. CSI Decon, hi, smooch your faces. Never even had to look at the name. I knew who was here. That's right. That's right. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Once again, before we get going, a big shout out to Totally Us. Just became a member. It's a pleasure to have you aboard, and you can jump in on this as well, folks. Make sure to check it out for the price of a super chat. There's all kinds of extra perks to go with it. Uh, have a great evening, Push Studio. Sky is the limit. You guys have an awesome team right here to grow your own channel. Farming Life, you are always awesome, so positive, and always a pleasure to have you in. You take care of yourself. It's always great to see you. Apparently, uh, yes, you can make homemade clove oil. Just search it in Google, says Paper Scissors. Oh, right yeah, because I have it as a spice, so maybe I could do that. Or bite on it. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much for all the suggestions. Mm. See, we have so many smart people here. Always all have all the questions answered. Awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Cooking green, you are one of a kind. You're one of a kind. Never change, never change. Um, the RC Air Marshal, good to see you. Uh, how are you doing? Exploration Laurel Lion is here as well. Uh, yeah, that's what I was doing half the day today is Googling, uh, uh, but I never thought about it till I started talking about it. Am I the only one enjoying the social distancing and the extra time I have to learn new things? Yeah, see, for us, we work from home, so we're kind of already into it in a way, but I miss like every morning getting up and I take my son to school. Because uh, there's no bus service for uh, the high school one. 
uh, those kind of things I just you know I mean I can still go somewhere but it's just nice when you have a purpose to go somewhere not in little things like that but I mean working from home if I just had those little breaks into it I'm you fine. You can pretend you're going somewhere. Xenia, so get in the car Xenia and go. doesn't care at all. She's happy to stay put like that. Yeah, I don't. Better. I don't care. I hibernate anyway. Yeah, so. Our daughter too, Audrey. She's yeah. More, Audrey is like, yeah. Uh, let's just run with this for a while. I'm not. Or, I'm yeah. actually a uh, very introvert. I, I know <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> you guys are going live, but yeah, I'm. I'm actually very introvert, so I. I don't mind spending time with my own self. Yeah, I used to be heavily social. I think I am too invert a lot that, and I really appreciate my time just even though we work together we still have to we don't sit here all day side by side no working. my goodness that would be instant divorce. we wouldn't be here <laughs> no exactly <laughs> no i love her it's got nothing to do with that it's just yeah i value and and exactly too values her alone yeah, time as well exactly you know you can't believe everything you read on the internet exactly the rc air marshal well that's why i was asking that's you the guys. reason why there was no toilet paper for two weeks was i was asking you guys from your own experience you know if you had anything so I, I went out of this house <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is fast bunny hello how are you laurie of life is here as well welcome good to see you bud thank you about paranormal uh thank you so much for sharing that i'll definitely try that thank you simply tina is here i hope you're feeling better i was watching simply tina's video today uh she's a little bit under the weather uh thank you so much it was really interesting kind of discussion uh thoughts and everything uh, i really enjoyed it well yeah how are you i know you got that was two that were being real pains when the stream got going uh, uh, before we got go fully going i seen the messaging and that's yeah sorry about that i know you didn't complain but that you know already what goes on here sometimes we've taken to walking for exercise mm. home renovation is going well in isolation brand aerials that is awesome that is awesome but then again you're awesome so uh, they go hand you go hand in hand with awesome what can i say i only wish you know i only think about that that we should do this and that but ah. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have the kids doing the house uh, the spring cleaning yes there. and that's what i'm super excited about yeah. yes because lots of things have been done already and it looks amazing mm -hmm. so and uh, they want to go back to school which is also good <laughs> <laughs> stacy here we go again how are you great to see you. hope you're doing fantastic I uh, hope you're having a great day. Always a pleasure to see you. Johnny Puckney is in the house. What's going on? Great to see you. Sue's ex also doesn't like people, so not the same as me. That's why we're on YouTube, folks. <laughs> this is socializing. This is what it's about. So AdSense went down, so now i got to stream daily to become YouTube rich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, this is called holding on. Uh, this is a temporary fix. The funny part is, uh, I will say this for a second. Things really changed over the summer and we came back and there was less mitigating circumstances to being on here and I loved it. The, this fall was by far my favorite time to be on YouTube and if you guys have been following us for a while, that's where we started doing a lot of the features. The games were one day a week, one day for the push a push one and the push a push didn't even exist back then. That was an answer to trolling. We only had the wheel. That was all he had. And almost every night we did Tech Talk Tuesday. We did like three nights of features about things going on with YouTube. Game night and absolutely loved it. And our numbers were holding well in that segment. We were actually cutting back. We were on less, but maintaining and growing. And that was the goal, was to try and be two hours for wheel, the, 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 wheel, the wheel shout outs. And about an hour to an hour and a half, roughly, with highs and hellos and all this stuff for features. And figured we could give more energy into it at less time, so we could give more of us a better side of us. And that was, I think, our happiest time on YouTube. I really yeah. do. We were really into it. Our thumbnails, we had changed everything, kind of gave ourselves a whole makeover, excited about it. We never planned to be on that much, but we were kind of left with no other choice. Uh, YouTube is in a dire mess right now. You know, if you go to your subscriptions, there's barely any recommendations for lives right now. That is, YouTube is aware of it. They know what's going on, but hence they're not doing much about it. They've also cut back a lot on bandwidth because they're saving it more for bigger news agencies to have more coverage going on with the current events. And then of course, then you bring in the trolling and the botting and all that stuff and everything and play with our numbers. I, I, I mean, you know, we're kind of left with no other choice. Either you let your channel crumble or you got to roll with the punches to get through it. So yeah, I, and that's the funny part in the end on that side with that last one I mentioned, for people that don't like what we do, 
they're actually got stuck seeing more of us. That's the bizarre part of all of it, you know? To me, if I don't like uh, Putin, I don't want to hang around a Putin store and I don't want to advocate for it because I don't want more Putin around me. And it kind of works on the same thing. So yeah, it's not exactly how we plan to do things. Hey, the, uh, the old guy on a bike, how are you? Great to see you. Bubbles Pleasant in the house as well. Mangle Nerdy as well as Retro Completionist. Uh, uh, couple right there, great to see you both. Oh my, Rosie. Folks, there is one special person right there and I'm gonna tell you why. I don't think I've ever done this before, but I'm gonna tell you why. Rosie, first off, thank you so much for the super chat. It means the world. Thank you so much, Rosie. I'm sitting here talking about trolls. Rosie has had to deal with a fair share of trolls and then some. And Rosie's probably had an influence on us that we don't even realize sometimes on how to do it. How you, you address something, you move on, you don't let trolls become a controlling part of your channel. Rosie has traveled all over the world. Rosie travels to some of the most dangerous places in all of North America and shows a raw, gritty, true-to-form view of what it's like to be there in the moment. Rosie is a kind of, I would consider a legend on here, I think it's a, a bit, if that's fair to say. Yeah. And uh, when you're going through all this stuff, sometimes I have somebody like that that knows what it's like to go through all of it and still perseveres on here. And that, it means a lot. So, Rosie, on behalf of both of us, thank you so very, very much. Very wise and down to earth. We did, oh, love, you love know. listening. I've seen Rosie sit there, 200 trolls, just everything, call every name in the book. And Rosie's sitting there just as quiet as can be with a drink in hand. Addresses a little bit of it has to be addressed. Back to story. Tells everybody, don't worry about them. Don't pay attention to them and keeps on trucking. And that's the way to do it. That's that's the real way to do it. So thank you so much, Rosie. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much. Do a, it, it, it means a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much for the super chat to Harmon Comedy. Harmon Comedy, yeah. thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Where was, uh, where was she? Detroit? She's been everywhere. LA, uh, <laughs> I mean, some pretty rough areas in that, yep. Yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Uh, you make me blush, Rosie says. Uh, well, we do, well, it's true. I've seen we've seen you firsthand deal with a lot of stuff. So you know, if anybody understands what we're talking about, I know you do. So thank you so much for that. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, the Psycho Ducky, good day. How are good you day. doing? How are you doing? Guys? We were on this morning when it was your evening. Now we're on in our evening, which is your morning, uh, Psycho Ducky. The whole time zone. So Isn't that crazy? Together. All over the place. All over the area. Get it controlling. <laughs> I love that relaxation TV. Love that. Nice. Ha. Huh. Love that. That is. I like that. That is really good. There you go. See, you guys are too. You guys are smart. You guys know what we're talking about. Alrighty, folks. Now plug your ears because it's gonna get crazy. This is Xenia's oral, uh, oral trolling. I call it. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Witch girl exploring UK. Thank you so much. Look at that smile. Thank you so much for that. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. And yes, we have a retro completionist as well. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. You are number one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. <coughs> she still cries me out this day, folks. It is it is Eastern European post-Soviet cheerleading. And so stiff and, and, and so controlled. It's that box you put yourself in. Like, uh, I, if I ever was a cheerleader, that's exactly what I would want to do. <laughs> yeah. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Jonathan Rosemary, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, thank you, and there you go. Look at all those clapping hands from our yeah, members yeah, yeah. here. Clap your hands. I know there's, uh, there's more to clapping than plugging ears, folks. I want to tell you there. Don't forget about that covering ears emoji, and then some are balanced like Josie's place. Uh, no, almost, almost a, a little extra on the clapping, uh, folks. <laughs> I want to no, remind which you which again. Which side are you on? If you my, if you like Andrew suffering and covering his ears, you know, then put my clapping hands. If uh, you rather uh, you be on his side and stop it right away, then uh, you know. 
Oh my god, not, sta not stacking the deck or anything like that. Oh my god, I'm waiting. If you want to live eternally in heaven, grab Xenia clapping. If you want to burn in the fiery roars of hell, take the Andrew Holden's ears. Yeah, Let's well, yeah. Call it for what it is at that well, point. there are options. Yeah, there are yeah, options. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that, folks, is marriage. If anybody's not married yet, that sums it all up right there. there well, you've you go. got to give them options. That's, uh, that's yep, the main thing. That's right. Taint so. the husband. Taint the husband. That's how we do it. That's yeah. an option. Do you want to paint uh, this room pink or uh, <laughs> lilac? I pissed my pants on Soviet <laughs> cheerleading exactly inspired John. i would tell you about it but those documents are sealed that's right i thought of you right away when i said it too i figured justin it. trudeau today uh he mentioned documents and i'm like oh my god oh my god he learned from me there you go uh, another question uh, i'm trying to figure out how to make an introduction yeah uh great question stacy here we go again go again grow again uh getting your question here in my list as well uh together with snr and guys if you do have a question now uh, put it in the chat so i can save it up here and we can get <laughs> to it CSID god even with the sound off i can always tell when she does that super chicken call <laughs> <laughs> I'm not chicken! <laughs> That's a reference to a show that nobody remembers. Okay. <coughs> Sherry Awesome, what's going Sherry. on? Great to see you. <laughs> Sherry Awesome Travels, good to see you. Are you still busy? And Dead in Sight says, one time I had a dream and all I could hear it was, uh, in it was super sticker. Super well, welcome to my uh, world. I, welcome I'm, to my nights in the cold sweats. I'm flattered. I'm that, flattered. Tossing back and forth. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. Put the blanket back in the budgie cage. That's Let's right. try again. Oh my God, Jonathan, you're crazy. Bravo, 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 Jonathan Rosemary, thank you so much for that. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Thank you so much for that. Super sick, super chat. Thank you, Jonathan Rosemary. And if you noticed, I'm giving it a little bit of extra time uh, to give more value for their money in these uh, challenging <laughs> <guess> times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god almighty I appreciate that, thank yep. you <laughs> Salvatore Vincent Guerra, how are you? Great to see you Texas Rider, hope you're doing fantastic Great to see you folks in here uh, Ethan Exploration here as well, good to see you I'm trying to watch them uh, Yeah, getting your question, perfect. Retro Completionist, thank you so much Yep, we're putting them in order, we're going to answer them right after we talk uh, Nomad Unbroken is in the house How are you buddy, great to see you, hope you're doing fantastic Welcome, welcome, welcome Legal, legal, yes Midsummer's night, legal Legal. Okay. Uh, I think I, 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 I'm going to lay down and have a nap. My head hurts. <laughs> Somebody new coming in is like, what? Are oh, I, I pity them. They, they, they must be like, what did I just walk into and how do I find the exit? Yeah, we are acquired taste. If That's you're hanging good. around, folks, you might have a little bit of cabin fever yourself. You might be able to relate then. Oh, so. Lottery of Flight. Mike is putting some chickens in here. There you go. Well. Those living lava lamps. <laughs> did I tell you already that oh. somebody called them living lava lamps? The chickens? Yes, about 50 times. Oh, okay. Well, uh, just a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Way Thompson, how are you? Great to see you. Hope you're doing well. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Okay, thank you so much. Needed the laugh. Off to bed. Birthday tomorrow. Is it your birthday, John? Is it your birthday, John? Oh Will you be goodness. wearing pants, John? Well, somebody's going to gift him please, pants, Please, please, John. The weather. Let's tell us. Are you going to be wearing <laughs> pants? <laughs> Oh, Have a okay. good night, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, John. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All Enough right. of this chit chat. Enough I don't know what we're doing here. Alrighty, folks. They're watching. AdSense is not. What are we talking about? What does Pusa Studio mean? Have they completely lost their mind? Yeah. All of the above. Yes, I agree. I agree. Exenia, start them off. Start them off. I'm not taking sides here, but we do need some balance. <laughs> balance is a word. You know, everybody has a word in their life that they go by. And I think for Pixel P, it's definitely balance for everything. Capital letters. <laughs> I swear to God. You, swear. You, are, you have to say the thing, but you... You don't have to. Okay. You don't have to do that, Pixel P. You don't have to do the balance. But thank you so very much. You spoil mm. us rotten. And, and John uh, says no pants. No on shirt my either, I guess. Yeah, it's like a bonus. There so. you go. Oh my God Almighty. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Exploration, Laurelin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Hey you, you thank you, thank you so much for that. Super sick, super chat, super sick, super chat. Thank you Come so on. much. Witch girl, enough with the clapping already. Thank you. You know the other one, the one like this, me looking sad? That's the one you want to go with. That's the winning ticket. That's a, that's your YouTube tip of the night. 
Go with the one where Andrew's plugging his ears and good fortune will follow oh you. Oh my on god, YouTube. it's April Fool's tomorrow? John, your birthday is on April Fool's? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds I'm fitting. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. the best no, ever. no, no, this all makes sense now. <laughs> a lot of uh, questions have been answered. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, Hillbilly, uh, Carolina Hillbilly, good to see you again. How are you doing? You want to hear something really stupid? We live in Quebec, of course, it's French based. You know what they call it here? Jules de Poisson, day of the fish. And they cut out paper fish and stick them on you when you don't see them and then laugh. That's why this province is so idiotic and stuff and like that. And now we're prompted to put those fish in windows, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> All across the province. What, is, what do you get when you cross stupid times stupid? Super sick, super chance, 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 lucky beach lots. Thank you so much for that hero. Heroes with capes or without capes. Thank you so much. Super sick, super chance, super sick, super chance, super sick, super Lucky simply lock. Tina rules. Thank simply you Tina so rules. Simply much. Tina rules. Thank Everybody you. grab up Thank Simply you. Tina. Everybody, because she's got the plugged ears. Everybody grab up Simply Tina. Yeah. <laughs> simply Tina is my hero. That's right. <laughs> Got yeah, my back. No, nothing is better for a toothache than yeah. super sick of super chat. I know, right? I swear, it's like she loses control. You know, yep. she's lost something. WTF endorphins, right endorphins are coming in. You know, uh, so. I still see your. Anyways, all right, okay, folks. Started early in the morning already. <laughs> what is going on here? She's talking about those BJs again. Come on now. Uh, so you say BJ? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get into the subject today. Oh, let's check the old coin and see if we got a nice shade of yeller. <laughs> Our haunted travel, you're right on time. You know, oh, okay, that's even worse. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's literally showing that there's nothing. To show. Oh, God. Oh, YouTube. You oh, love, my goodness. You Are make we us still work live? for it. I'm not sure. No one uh, coming. Okay. Uh, no, this is priceless, guys. Let's keep her wound up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, by the way, if you tune in tomorrow, Andrew is going to share with you a very interesting personal family story about April Fool's Day. Oh. But that's tomorrow. I didn't bring it up. Well, you bring it up every year anyway. No. Might as well be me this time. <laughs> Gosh, I've told it to everyone already who wanted to listen. No. Uh, okay, so uh, that's tomorrow. I never said anything. Yes, found it buried. You heard right. <laughs> She said it, not me. What happened? Uh, well, it shows that we're not live, but I guess... Yeah, <laughs> I don't it's know. It's still showing we're not live. So yeah. if you're l looking at us, we're still Matrix. It literally shows on YouTube that we're not live. I don't know if that's maybe... Uh, maybe suggest I don't, I don't I can't even guess anymore that's uh, so good, terrible that lately really not good. Uh, what do you do when you're under 18 and you applied for uh, monetization you can't uh, now uh, you have to uh, only accounts that are over 18 can be monetized unless uh, they are owned by your parents and then it's like a parent um, uh, child agreement and there's a parent applying for it um, so if you uh, have stated in the channel itself that uh, you're under 18 uh, because when you apply to the AdSense that's part of your um, uh, sign up so you can't monetize the channel if you're not 18 that's the whole the, the whole summary of it uh, basically <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh we have Just Jones vlog Just Jones vlog <laughs> Super sick, super chance, super sick, super chance, super sick, super chance, super sick, super chance, super sick, super chance. Thank you so much, Just John Vlogs. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that super sick or super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for getting her wound up. But I also want to say a big thank you to. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, okay. I got logged out of our live stream. There we go. I know what happened now. Alrighty, so I'll fix that. And a big shout out to Grant McIntosh for bouncing it off this time. That's what I wanted to see. And found a buried who has more covered ears than claps. And we have Simply Tina who's balanced it out and put a little bit of me at the end. My God, it's my birthday. It's my birthday, I tell you. We're all in on an exclusive event, a live stream that isn't online but still able to interact with the hosts. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> cooking Green, I have that your question. The thick GL... G TG, thank you for joining my uh, personal channel. I promise to paint your broomstick and uh, dust off your watermelon, whatever the code of the week is. So there you go. 
Uh, no, Ka uh, Kathy, uh, if you want to specify your um, um, sentence, I, I would gladly explain to you uh, what I can about that. Uh, Bronco, you, uh, um, uh, you too still. You too still. Uh, hello, how are you? <laughs> how do I link my parents' AdSense account? Well, uh, with, their, uh, with their permission, basically. Uh, either they Please get their permission. Now, it's, oh. I, it's actually, it's super complicated. But basically, one version of how you can do it, you create family accounts on Google, where then parent accounts are linked to the child account. And then uh, it's basically them applying for it instead of you. Or, and I'm not saying that, you can pretend that you're over 18 and just uh, link with their permission their AdSense account. Um, no, it's up to your parents if they give you information or not. Yeah. All, all right. No. Topic at hand. Topic now that I got everything hand. fixed up, let's do that so we don't forget about it. All right, let's try this again. You ready, Xenia? Yes, I'm All ready. All right, they're watching. AdSense is not. Give them a rundown, hon. Tell them what you got. Okay, well, uh, as you all know, everything has been changing, uh, not only all around the world, but also, obviously, in our YouTube world. And it's been changing our bottom line, uh, not only in AdSense, but also in views. So we wanted to dive into different research that have been done uh, in the last couple of weeks uh, by different companies. And as always, I'm going to be putting some links in the description afterwards so you can check it out by yourself. Um, but uh, let's see uh, uh, what is actually happening and uh, what is the overall look of what is going on on YouTube. Now, uh, as you all know, Nielsen ratings uh, check the popular uh, media consumption and it always has stated that uh, there is a rise of around 60% on uh, viewerships uh, on uh, TV media uh, when people have to stay indoors. Now, 60% on average, this is unprecedented event. Uh, and Nielsen rating have um, reported around 85% in the US are actually uh, watching more TV uh, in this last uh, week. So we're talking about months of March right now. Now, what about online viewing of popular video sharing platforms and social media? Let's see how that uh, goes into depth right there. So Twitch, Twitch's viewership shot up this month by 31%. 31% people are watching Twitch and not only gaming content, surprisingly. Uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, uh, shot on 36% increase in both engagements and impressions and 50% increase in Facebook Live events. By the way, if you didn't know, Facebook have launched its a live a kit right now, kind of similar like YouTube has its live studio. Pinterest use is up to 37% right now, and blog posts, surprisingly, are back. Blog posts are up to 34% off of viewership. Now, of course, as always, YouTube is leading everything. YouTube jumped up to 63% this yep. month, guys, in views overall. Uh, we're talking about US-based content, by the way, FYI. Uh, that's uh, how it's based from. But nevertheless, 63% uh, of views uh, more in this month uh, than in March of last year. That is crazy. That is super crazy. Now, uh, they also looked at uh, these companies, and we kind of uh, chose this one to show you. There you go. Well, I don't know what you're showing. <laughs> I had it up already. They were looking at it. I was waiting okay, for you. Okay, well, I wasn't talking about it yet. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Uh, Twitch, um, so over, over on YouTube viewership, uh, US-based content has jumped 63%, like I said before. Uh, and Tubular Labs is uh, uh, this uh, infographic that we are showing you right now. And as you can see, uh, different kind of categories have jumped by different uh, uh, percentages. And uh, that kind of gives you an inclining of what people are looking more for in this last month. Uh, as you can see, music has jumped overall altogether, the music streaming service uh, on YouTube, although uh, different companies explain it that it might uh, be uh, related to their YouTube Music New Lounge now uh, that is co connected to your Google Music and therefore uh, it it's can't be completely uh, explained by the recent events. But nevertheless, it still has a jump compared to the last year. Uh, now, health and fitness, interestingly enough, uh, has jumped as well. 
Uh, this is related to the season of the year. Obviously, in spring, we are more prone into getting into fitness and healthy lifestyle. But of course, also uh, with uh, recent events as well, as more and more people are looking for videos uh, that uh, they can use at home uh, to replace their uh, daily uh, activities and um, uh, gym visits. Um, we also have arts and culture. Um, lots of people are, are looking for virtual experiences, uh, virtual tours, um, uh, educational materials as well, which uh, fall under our arts and culture, which are 29% more uh, popular this year. And uh, sports sports as well because obviously tv doesn't doesn't show us anything anymore everything is canceled so people are re-watching a lot of uh older stuff as well as compilations and of course uh people and lifestyles as you see people and lifestyles in fact are in the last place of the growth this year uh in march so if we're talking about sharing our experiences that we talked about throughout these two weeks uh, vlogs and everything else that we're talking about this is not actually the most searched thing out there uh and uh, um not mentioned here but i can tell you what i was reading about that on youtube most of the subjects that are trending in the subject uh are actually represented uh, by the big tv shows and uh, tv companies and that's what people are looking for when they're searching for the big monster on youtube now on facebook and other media uh, people are actually searching for entertainment value in that and that's where they're looking more for personal interaction and personal experiences. So if you want to share your personal experiences with what's going on and have some entertainment value to that, according to these uh, researchers, would really suggest to jump to Facebook instead, because that's where people are looking for it. Mm -hmm. um, OK, so that was quite interesting. Now, uh, how does it uh, refers to a uh, money and CPM uh, rates? Uh, this is yeah. This uh, is the this is the uh, not fun side of the conversation whatsoever. It is quite interesting, and, and listen to it carefully because it is it is not as it seems to be as at the very first look. Now CPM uh, varies uh, greatly, and I'm tell you just a little tiny bit what CPM is. And on average in the United States, uh, there are reports uh, of an average between six and eight dollars uh, of CPM rate. Uh, basically, uh, CPM is cost per mile, which means uh, cost per 1,000 views uh, of the monetized content, okay? Uh, so cost per 1,000 views. 45% um, is taken, no, the other way, 45% is only uh, what percentage that YouTube uh, leaves to the creator. So 55% is taken by uh, uh, YouTube. So that's something uh, for you to to think about. So uh, when you see the CPM rate on your analytics, your your eight dollars, let's say for CPM, well, only forty five percent of those eight dollars will uh, get to you uh, per thousand views. You know, now it can be more and it can be less. Uh, some this people can average, get so. uh, yeah, as ten cents. Some can have seventeen and even thirty dollars. Now, it depends on the season, depends on many other different factors that we can talk about uh, later on or in other uh, live stream. Uh, but that's on average is around seven dollars and sixty cents uh, per one thousand views. Uh, now, according to these uh, researchers that we have uh, researched uh, lately, uh, that creators should expect around 15 to 25 percent decrease in uh, sponsored posts and in CPM rates. That's huge. 15 to 25 percent less. Uh, that's quarter less income uh, than you would normally have in your uh, in your months, let's say. Yeah. And uh, so far uh, now there, there's different reasons for that. Now, some people say that it is because of the economy that is going on and uh, companies in general just pulling away their ads uh, and add money because of the um, you know, economic situation. But on the other hand, more and more people are buying things because we're home, we're buying stuff online. So uh, the other theory is that it is not necessarily to the advertiser pullbacks, but because of uh, expansion in inventory uh, and increased consumption, everybody is buying everything and therefore the ad rates competition is lower 
they basically don't have to pay more for ads to get your attention. You're already buying it. You're a captive audience already and you're going forth with it, so. Exactly. So uh, that was something really interesting that is actually is not because economy, because yes, everybody's buying everything and they don't need to buy our attention anymore. They can put it for 10 cents and be happy because you're going to be clicking on it anyway. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, they're saying that early losses on CPM front are being counteracted by a huge increase in viewership. So if we look at it, the views are going up. The CPM is relatively going down. And at the end, it evens each other out. But with that said, and I want to state something, folks. You seen just a minute ago about the graft and which, which niches are really growing on here and that. During these things that's uh, but you have to look at it too as a time to bite the bullet and get through it the main thing in these you have two options to take that are going to be beneficial whenever something happens i this is back from days of business i worked for a music company the one of the biggest ones in the world during the 2008 uh, crisis um, a lot of stores closed a lot did a lot never made it through there they were worried about it and sure enough unfortunately they did go away but some really held on and some, uh, sorry, some held on and some really flourished from it and really grew exponentially. You always have to turn it into your favor right now. And this is going to be the time where you can jump on and find a way to bring your channel more in line with what's trending. Now, I don't mean changing what you do. That can be so detrimental. We've watched channels many times go back. Oh, well, this is hot. So I'm going to be this. No, they're getting big numbers with that. I'm going to be that. But look for how you can side shift your channel maybe more in line with what's trending. And even though the CPMs are down now, more people are watching, you might actually be able to daisy chain on some of that trend and get yourself up there and prepare yourself for when things get more back to normal. So once again, that doesn't mean if you're a channel that reviews luggage that you're all of a sudden become a sports uh, channel. The thing is, is that you can kind of blend yourself in a little bit more. Uh, the financial crisis, uh, WTF, Mike, that was a big, uh, when all the, the markets were crashing, there was a lot of stores scared because they, uh, and they, some of them didn't succeed. I've always brought up these instances in business are always going to be like wildfires. And especially in the West, you know, a lot of wildfires, they're not a good thing. We don't want them. But at the same time too, it does help plant new seed by doing it. And you have to find a way to swing anything. I mean, just like you do in life. You don't just lay down and let it happen. This is your time. You can either leave from it, bobble through it, or grow from it. And you want to make it work in your favor. So the thing right now is there's a lot of people watching. And why not take advantage of that side if you can swing your channel in one of those lanes to get you there? Why did a lot of those stores close in 2008? Because... A lot of music stores, and this is like with any other niche, this is just the niche that I was working with at the time. Music stores, a lot of them are owned by old hippies that played in bands, they didn't make it anywhere, so it's like, oh, I'm gonna open a store and sell some cool axes. Literally that type of mentality. Not very good business people, had lots of years to learn how to adapt a business, chose not to, and there were great people, there were nice people, there was nothing wrong with them. But when the time came for that change, they, they just couldn't handle it, they couldn't adjust, and they fell through the cracks. But some of them, and there's one big chain here in Canada that grew drastically, and the same with the States and that, grew from it because they were ready, planning on to it, had innovative enough, and prepared themselves and took advantage of those situations to up their game. I don't mean crapping on other people, and I certainly don't mean jumping on the bandwagon of the current event, that's more of a hindrance than a help. But YouTube has asked people to entertain people through it. That's the way you can help best. We all are entertainers here. Doesn't matter if you have a sad story, a happy story, whatever you do on here, you are entertainers. Each and every one of us, that's the primary thing when you're on YouTube. And you gotta find a way to make sure you use that to the best of your ability. So, you know, really make sure. Oh, that yeah, that was for the music companies with albums that this was for music equipment and that that's what I worked for, like Marshall and all that stuff. And yeah, they were just closing like st closing like crazy, closing like crazy. And every 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 market went through it. So you know, you guys have all the tools at your disposal. And even if you just bobble your way through it, like we're not getting the numbers we we're getting a little while ago on that. But you know what? We're still doing okay, and we've had to adapt to it for the time. And we're going to adapt as it passes, 
and that's part of the survival game of being on here. I know a lot of you are passionate artists. I know a lot of you are on that side. But if you're in YouTube, I always say we're like a bunch of stores in a mall. And you are business people. Whether you realize it or not, it doesn't mean your money creative. It doesn't mean your money hungry. It means that you have to have the mentality to run a business, to run a YouTube channel. Because it's all about supply and demand, keeping the customer happy, after sale. All those things are the same as what we're doing here. It really is. You know, following up on your comments is after service care. <laughs> that Twitter and all those things on that promotion and marketing side that gets people to watch what you do. Uh, all these things are the exact same as any other store has to go through. So use that mentality to, to really play on these numbers. And yes, the CPM is down a bit. You might lose some money. There is some that's going to say, oh, it's not worth it anymore and I quit. Well, they have a right to do it. And I mean, if that's what's in your heart, do it. Never stay on here if you're too fed up of it. Take a break from it, I always recommend. But if you can't take it, really do yourself a favor and get off it because it's not worth it putting yourself through that kind of trauma for the little bit that's going to come out of it. Most of us will never be gigantic on here. The same as music again. You know, lots play guitar, but not many get paid a lot of money to do so. And it's like that in all this stuff. But if you're on here, even if it's a pastime, you still are on here. You, you know, you want people to see what you do. You know, you, 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 otherwise you just keep move videos sitting on your computer and show them to your friends when they come over. You're here for a reason. You want somebody to hear or see what you do. So take advantage of this time to find a way to make it work in your favor. That's all you can ever do. Leave, float through it, or expand when through it. There's only three options. And so think about it, which one you want to be onto, what suits you best, and let that influence you to get pushing more and more and more. I was see Coffee Club Cockram had wrote something here and I missed it. Where is he? Where is he? Philip, where'd you run to, Philip? Philip, where are you? Where are you? I didn't see anything from Philip. I thought I'd seen from Philip. I must have screwed up. Sorry about that. Uh, how about a virtual bar? We can all call it the angry American and the smiling beaver. I'm reaching for straws here. There you go, Mike. That includes us all. There you go. There you go. Mike is from North Dakota. Our, we lived just across the border from him for a while. I don't know if you were living in North Dakota at the time. That was about uh, 2009, 2011, around that time. Today, 99 of these videos are on my 10 top most watched videos the last 28 days. Thank you for encouraging me. Well, uh, what she did is uh, we discussed together a few weeks if I should take a look, if she should take a look at all her videos and adjust to the current situation with the tags and like hashtags we discussed earlier as well. Mm -hmm. So she did change thumbnail titles and created a new playlist, which then now lead to 10 of those videos to be in her top watched videos now. That so. is awesome. Yeah, that is super amazing. The, the, the YouTube came out with that about a year and a half ago now. I guess around a year and a half. year, year and a half ago. And it was to answer the quest of the bigger YouTubers saying they were completely burnt out. I said, tell us uh, tell us a story, uh, Jim Marshall story, Papa Andrew. Here, <laughs> so she fell up. <laughs> and uh, that's what they were doing for a uh, uh, YouTubers were burned out. And they said they feel like if they left for a week that their channel was almost in crisis state because it got absolutely no push. No push. So their answer to that was they started reactivating old videos again, and sometimes it happens on their own. Uh, they'll do it with your videos. You'll notice some start to get a bit of watch time that hasn't been uh, hasn't been seen in a long time, or you're getting recommended old ones that you you're like, wow, why would they recommend that one? It's four years old from some creator, and you can really harness that by going back and looking at your videos you think that didn't get enough push, changing the thumbnails, changing the titles, change the descriptions, change the tags. You've learned a lot since you did that video. You can bring a lot of new life to it and that can get it really rejuvenated. You can really set it on fire and it does happen. Some videos take off and go viral after sitting there dormant for three years or stuff like that. So another great one and I know I harp on it a lot. That's another reason why I'm always telling you folks, playlists, playlists, because all these videos can be shuffled around and that's exactly what Xenia and I do. Videos we feel didn't get enough push, we worked them around in playlists, put them closer to the front, get them more views. It was a bad night, we got trolled, uh, YouTube crashed, there's all kinds of reasons why it didn't do well that night, but we feel that it does have some value. We bring them up in playlists on the homepage and put them closer to the front, get more eyes on them. We can get a couple hundred views on them like that. Actually start generating them, if that's happening, then that means it's gonna start recommending it out again to other people because they're gonna say, oh, some people seem to have interest in this. 
So that's just another one of the many benefits to your great friend playlist on the homepage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the one about the astronaut is actually interesting. Oh, oh, oh I see. I jumped in something else. Your well, apparently, uh, Animation Princess was actually stuck into Masterclass uh, Visa card uh, ad that we had. Oh, my God. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching the ads as well. The, uh, even the CPMs down or up, it's not like we're going to get rich of it. It just garners more interest. It, that does get the algorithm uh, recommending us more. That does. I just learned how to post thumbnails. So slow down there, Einstein. That's all right. You're on the way. You're on the way. And all all those things play into each other. I listen. That there's nothing. And in all seriousness, I know Mike jokes around a lot. That nothing makes me more happy when somebody comes in and says, "Oh my God, I'm finally making my own thumbnails. Oh my God, I'm finally figuring out tags. Oh my God, I added a bit to my description. All those things. And it's not like it's benefiting our channel." It's just nice to see people feeling because that's encouraging and it gives them a want to go a little bit further into it. We, we're not Picasso's when we come on here. We're not Steven Spielberg's when we come on here. It's the want to get better that is so important. And that's what gets lost a lot. You know, some people say sometimes, oh, they're not hard enough on channels and they're not giving them realistic answers, you know, their stuff. Who am I to judge a channel when it's said and done? First off, it's none of my business, not my channel. Secondly, I hope that people will see other people doing stuff around like that and might inspire to go. That's why we uh, don't put up with the uh, got you 22, 55 times because I know somebody like that has no interest in hearing it. Zero. You'll talk to the cows, come home. It's not going to change a thing. Tech Talk Tuesday's always done quite well, but it's never done as well as the wheel and stuff like that. And people say, well, it's not really kind of successful if you look at compared to the wheel. The wheel helps us meet new people. That's our draw. That's how we grow. Then a certain percentage of it hopefully stays behind to watch the other stuff as well. There's some that look tonight, seeing it wasn't a wheel or the push and push and they were gone and they're out. And that's okay, they have a right to do how they want to do YouTube. That's, everybody has the right to do that. But if we can retain 20% out of there, 30%, and maybe even 5% that thought they wouldn't be interested into it and do and start going more with their channel, it was well worth it, it really is. Exploration with Carl, how are you? Great to see, hope you're doing fantastic. I don't see ads since I'm a premium member, but you got some coin for, you're actually, your coin is even more valuable, Pixelpia. You, and I know Farmall is also a premium member. There's a couple of them. Uh, Thank yes. you so much. Vicky Marie Living Life says, this is so helpful. I needed this encouragement tonight. Well, thank you for the feedback. Thank you. And that's part of it. It's not just the tip. Sometimes everybody just needs a break from it because it is overwhelming. When you're, I always say, look at a TV show when it ends and there's three minutes of credits. When we go into YouTube, we become all those credits into one. Mm -hmm. All those different jobs you're doing now. It's a lot. There's a lot that goes with YouTube. And I think sometimes people don't realize when they first come in of how much it is. It, it is an amazingly time-draining feat. But it can be quite rewarding. That's why it's so important to enjoy the process of being on YouTube as much as creating videos. And I've used this time and time again. A lot of people have followed us for a while. I always say it's like the model train community. Those guys don't do that just to see the train go around. Most of them, that's kind of the icing on the cake, you know, type of thing. Their main thing is building the track, building the scenery, wiring, all that stuff. That's why it's so important to enjoy what you do here to be on YouTube. That, um, that, that's got to be part of it because it takes such a big part of your time to do it. Exploring with Carl. Thank you so much for the two pounds. Do appreciate it, do appreciate it. And hope you're doing fantastic tonight. Thank you so much for that. Really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. It's eight o'clock here. I need to go home. I'm also a premium. Oh, you're a premium member as well, Mike. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mike has joined us with both accounts. So, well, he says like this one here is his tractor. So he's got his account, which is the wrench stop plus. And he has little WTF Mike, which is his tractor talking right now. So. Thank you to Mike and thank you to his tractor. That is unbelievable. <laughs> thank you so much. to appreciate that. Thank you. Want, you. you want to get into questions? Yeah, let's do the questions, okay. guys. And uh, Johnny Pockney is also a premium member. Oh, that mm. is awesome. I, I know a computer chick is also a premium. Yes, that's uh, right. Thank you so much. Yes, we do get a higher rate for a premium view than it mm. is for watching the ad. Uh, but I guess that's why you pay for it <laughs> uh, in, a, in a way, um, you know, but we appreciate both. If you can watch the ad, we appreciate that, but we're not going to force you doing it. No. But, uh, uh, you know, thank you so much for doing it. 
Okay, well, we have a couple of questions here, guys. And if you do have a question, uh, yeah. please let us know. Uh, if you can put out push studios, uh, just so I can see it better, I do appreciate that. Okay, so the, we had a question from the Life of SNR uh, who said, I took a break from uploading and just recently posted a video, but it seems like it's not getting as many views as my past videos. Is that something going on right now? Well, it's hard without actually looking at the channel and breaking it down on that. But in general, yes, most people are lose. I have a big decrease right now because of the way the algorithm is holding back throttling channels and stuff like that videos. Uh, they're leaving more room for current events and stuff like that from accredited news sources. Once again, so you do not want to jump on the where the, the, the accredited ones and the bigger channels will benefit from it you will actually be hurt from it most times. So I just want to say that. And uh, then again, the, the, after that, then you just want to go back and look at your thumbnail, see if there's anything that you've changed since the last ones. Always look at that as well. There's though. a month, two months uh, difference there between the videos. Two months difference? Yeah, one. well, one, one month ago was the last video, and before that oh. it was two months ago. So really regular posting was two months ago. Yeah, so there too. You have quite a gap in between there. So... Uh, that too doesn't help much. YouTube wants relative comment uh, content that's coming out on a regular basis. A month is a long time in between. It really is, you know. So I would try to get stuff up a little bit more than that. You're, you I mean, you're mostly you're trying to hope for at least once a week. Is Andrew in any naked calendar? Sure, I've seen him on one row right now. <laughs> if I was, you wouldn't forget it. <laughs> Let's just say. So I think you're safe on there. How are you? How are you, Max Air 420? Good to see you. Good to Animation see you. Animation Princess got your question. Uh, I would definitely suggest uh, pushing more content now yeah. because you kind of you want a snowball effect and kind of revive it, especially now is a super hard time to come back mm -hmm. because of whatever things going on. Uh, so you kind of got to work even double than you would before, but I would definitely push more uh, And I would definitely put your latest video as your featured video instead of the one from ten months ago uh, You have your featured I don't know if it's a trailer or a featured video uh, I would definitely put that video that you just posted as a forefront everywhere like everywhere and anywhere that you can on your channel and cards cards uh, you know all of that and post more uh, you have community tabs you should be having it right now post it there share it out like just get it some more traction you got to share 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 so it gets more traction and uh, put another video out like uh, tomorrow you know like do more right now than you would uh, regularly do and then you can slow it down afterwards uh, I would definitely suggest doing that uh, I put one video per month. Well, see, <clears throat> it depends what what your goals are and what, what do you want to do with your channel. And depending on that, then we can talk about, you know, how consistency or how often you should be posting or what you should be or shouldn't be not doing. For some, you know, it could be different goals and then there are different approaches on how to get there. Philip is a funny guy today. Philip's got them coming out the bangers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely got to check out Philip. He's very good with the camera, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Gary, I have your question, and I do have an answer for that. But uh, Max here, 420. I just want to catch yours because it's a continuation of that. I'm a little behind. I'm posting. No time to edit. Try to uh, try to go on and just even if you can just go on and just do an update, a quick one, just to tell people what's going on that you'll be back soon, stuff like that, just to keep it rolling. Uh, I would recommend just something like that. Just avoid the editing then. Just a little thing to just let people know you're still kicking and uh, what you're going to do in the future. Just something to keep them watching. If the world does not love us, just love them anyways. Peace all. That's a pretty <laughs> nice message. There you go. Yeah. Right, Miss me. Hello. Hope you're staying safe as well. Uh, I really enjoyed... Oh. Okay, uh, Simply Tina got your question as well, and I have a question from Raw Brandom as well. Thank yep. you so much, guys. And uh, PixelP is saying that if you are a T-Mobile customer, they give two months free premium on their Tuesday giveaway now. So mm. uh, if you want to be a premium, you can do that if you're part of T-Mobile service. Very good. Thank you for letting everybody know. She's yeah. so amazing. Thank you. Uh, next question was from Stacy. Here we grow again, who asked... Uh, I've been trying to figure out how to make an introduction to my videos 
and maybe an end down the road. Any suggestions on how to do that? So short. basically intro and outro. Short, 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 yeah. short, the better. You know, I'm gonna put a number at you in 10 seconds. Sounds like, holy God, that's fast. What do I do anything? 10 seconds can be long. Mm-hmm. Three, five seconds is all you need. It just needs to be, hi. Welcome to the Stacy Show. Hit the subscribe button and jump right into it. Don't, there's some that I swear to God, their intros are longer than their videos, and I pull every bit of hair out of my head on a daily basis. It, 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 an intro is not there. An intro is what it is. It's just an intro. Fast, to the point, and go into it. Um, like I say, 10 seconds, you can get away, but 10 seconds is long. I hope you're doing at least, like, you know, you don't. You just don't need that that long. It's just got to be something there. A lot of people are choosing now not even to put them anymore. It's just the main thing is if you have a call to action into it very early on to remind people to hit the subscribe button and like. That's a big part of it, and that's really important. I know some were talking a while ago, getting a lot of viewers and having to get having trouble getting them to subscribe. That's what you want to do. Sub- have the reminder there. Call to action makes all the difference in the world. Remember, folks, anytime you make something on here, whatever it is, thumbnails, uh, intro, video, what, whatever you do, just take a moment, look at it and say, if I was a viewer, would this annoy me? If I was a viewer, would I watch this? If I was a viewer, would this keep me here? We have to remember that. We have to remember that is so important. Uh, retro uh, completions. I don't think we asked it yet. I don't believe. Uh, no, I don't think I have the, your question though. That's I'm oh. looking back now. Oh no, I do have it. Okay. Okay, I yeah. do have your question. Now, as regards to outros, you want to keep them as short as possible, even shorter than the intro, because uh, you don't want people to clicking off too uh, early before the video actually ends, and that's one of the mistakes that people do. They yep. make these amazing outros and by that time nobody's watching it anyway your whole point is to get people to watch the whole video and if your outro uh is like the last uh 35 seconds of your video well yeah. that's the last 35 seconds of the videos that are not being watched okay uh so i, I would really wouldn't go into any outros whatsoever focus on end cards at the end yeah end cards and screen, screen is what yeah. you want to be looking at uh if you want to embed that uh into your last 20, uh, 25 seconds i think is uh, where your end cards can be appearing. So that last thing uh, is your end screen that you're adding to your uh, editing footage. You, uh, really the best approach into uh, doing the video all on its own is not to guide people into the ending of the video because you don't want them to click away because they already know that it's going to go to end in next minute anyway, right? You, you want them to watch as much as possible. So don't hint that you're ending, don't put outros, any of that, because you want them to continue watching till the very end as much as possible. Uh, and sometimes with intros, uh, like even if you watch the bigger YouTubers, all they do is literally just have yeah. like uh, a subscribe button popping on, tick, and that's all, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, I know we love all those intros and things like that because it looks pretty, it's nice. But then think if people are watching, uh, binge watching your videos, do you want them to watch the same intro over and over and over again in each video? Like after a while, they get tired, they click away. Uh, you can make a trailer if that's what you're looking for, yeah. and that's something completely different. And the same with trailers. Do not make them long, folks, about a minute. Once again, you're there to... T- I'm sorry, but I have to say yeah. that. I see it happening so often. Trailers, <coughs> five, ten minutes long. It's not another video. It's a trailer to get people to watch your videos. Keep it about a minute length. Sell it. It's a promotion for what you do. You watch commercials for TV shows and movies. That's your commercial for what you do there. They do it longer because they have a captive audience. You won't be able to watch it about a minute maximum. And and I'm telling you, they're five, 10 minute ones. It's just another movie, yeah, another another video. It's got to separate itself from the pack. About and a there minute. is a difference between featured video and a trailer, okay? Mm-hmm. Like for example, we do have a, a featured video right now. We used to have all that before, and now we're just featuring the videos that we think are more relevant to new viewers or to returning ones. Uh, so that's just the video that you want to push more that is maybe more important more relevant for the time a trailer is about the whole uh, of channel, your channel. Just... it's like an ad campaign basically yep. you know uh, so that's how you should be looking at it 
uh, long outros after you pass 100k and uh, have the right family <laughs> yeah <laughs> well that's exactly it you know uh, that's I know we get caught into this like how to make it more pretty and, and all of that you know but uh, that's not what it is it's, it's not it's just capturing your like, viewers attention uh, you know my first <laughs> intro three years ago was about 40 seconds long painful to watch well you know what hats off to you for making a 40 seconds lottery of life <laughs> I, that I salute you for right there. So, <laughs> by the way, JDS, I don't know if I said hi to you. I hope you're doing well in Decon's universe. Hope you're doing well, folks. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do. It really does help us out a lot. It's great to have you all in here. Let them know what's going on, folks. Hit the like button. Tweet it out. DM a couple of friends. Great conversation on here. Uh, this is our favorite night of the week. Just talking with you guys. Awesome, epic adventures. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what's our next one, huh? I have made two. Di uh, so I have made so many different intros. I think I will make a trailer of all. Yeah, exactly. You Bill can do that too. Yep. You know, a summary of your top five intros of all time. There you go. Um, a great advice. I'm implementing it into my videos. Well, yes, Brandy. Yeah. See, uh, the whole point of them is for for the viewer to watch next video that is yours. Okay, so you want them to get to those end screens where they can see your video and then hopefully click on one of them uh, or at least on one of the recommended videos that hopefully is yours as well. You know, just the end screens are more controlled environments. You can control actually that those are the ones that are clicking because that it makes them uh, stay on your channel long. The whole point is there are two levels of YouTube that lo YouTube likes. One is getting your viewer to stay on your own channel channel as long as possible. Okay, that means uh, it doesn't mean just watching. It's just hanging around, checking the, the pages, uh, being on the community post, just and just like any other uh, web page. You want them to stay on the page as like checking around and nosing around uh, as long as possible, including the videos watching. And then if they don't do that, well, at least instead of uh, clicking the X button and closing their window altogether, they want uh, uh, your video lead to more watch time overall on YouTube. So, okay, you can't keep them on your channel. Well, at least don't make them close YouTube altogether. Lead them to something else uh, on YouTube platform. And that's what YouTube likes. And that's two things that is gonna get you more into suggested videos, get it uh, more into home pages on top of subscriptions and things like that because YouTube loves that because obviously it generates the more ad revenue, okay? So this is the whole point of getting their retention, getting people watching through, clicking on the links in the, the end. That's all of that is because of those two things that will in, in the end push you more on YouTube altogether. Jenny O'Brien, Jenny O'Brien, Jenny O'Brien. Super sick of super chat, 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 super sick of super chat. Jenny O'Brien, thank you so much. It is unicorn, 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 unicorn. It's a unicorn. I thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you so much. Super sick of super chat, super sick of super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. That took some. <laughs> Pixel Pia said, I have just started to make a different intro for each video. Instead of using the same, takes more time, but it's more effective. I also start with a question or a challenging statement before. Yes, so you're creating it as a buffer, uh, introduction and a buffer. Mm. Yeah, that's a great, great uh, approach as well. Uh, okay, next question here. Uh, so next question, uh, retro completionist. There you go, there is your question. Um, the things I'm trying to get is how to get more watch time and trying to also make sure my channel is presented well. Well, Andrew, this is your favorite question. <laughs> and I love that. I, I love that, uh, the way you worded that as well. Um, <coughs> I know I sound like a broken record. <laughs> Some is new here. I uh, just joined us recently. You've heard me talk about it a bit. First off, I'm gonna tell you right now, a big part of it is gonna be, yes, everybody knows what I'm gonna say, playlist. Let's playlist. say everybody together. Playlist. 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 It's the one thing I wish everybody would take from that I say. This is the one thing. You're not sorry at all, Jenny. <laughs> Good. Thank you so much for it. I'm just kidding. Uh, I know you're not sorry, though. I, uh, that part I'm not joking about. I know you're not. <laughs> you like getting her wound up. But you are on my side sometimes. Playlists make such a difference. They have the greatest impact, but they got to be your own playlist. And this is something I didn't tell as much the other day, but I can touch lightly here. Playlists need to be treated like videos, great titles, great descriptions. Get them on your homepage. And once again, because it gives people an option to see what they like. And the nice thing about this is, is wherever somebody clicks onto, exactly, Nomad Unbroken, you get it, you know it. You click on this video here, for instance, uh, the uh, positive spin. 
Well, if they like it, they're going to jump through. Now, we're doing mostly live streams like yourself. But even if they watch 10 minutes of it, they click next. They're going to get this video. They're going to get this video. They're going to get this video. Where if you send them over and really all they have to play with is here in the videos, it's going to somebody else almost the next time, especially, you know, until our numbers get gigantic. It's eventually just going to push them off to somebody else. And that's not what we want to do. We want to keep our eyes, their eyes on what we do. So this is a really big part of it. What's a playlist? Yeah. What the hell? Well, it's playing probably the intro for the video that is featured right now. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Uh, I do gaming videos and all my games are in playlists. So how do I go around doing what you're showing us on your channel? Oh, okay. So what you do is click customize. You go to your homepage, customize channel. And it's going to load. We all know that everything has been working really badly lately. And then we're going to scroll down. I'm going to get rid of a playlist just so it will look like yours will because you don't have all the filled up right now. So just uh, I'll show you all that in a second. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this add selection. But before that, you're going to go to all your playlists and there's that pencil and you're going to hit delete the trash can. There's done, cancel, and then a trash can. Just hit the trash can and they're gone. And you're going to get rid of all of them because the problem with all the ones that come from YouTube, they're absolutely horrible. There's no watch time benefit from it. There's no searchability from it because everybody has the exact same one. So you're going to get rid of all of them. Every single one of these stinking ones that come from YouTube, these aren't, but you know what I'm talking about. You're going to delete them all till you're left with a bare canvas. All you're going to have is add a section. Then you're going to come here and click add section. And you have select content. You're going to go and then videos all the way down. And then you're going to see playlist. Click single playlist. And then once that's selected, these menus come up. Leave them all alone here. This is all good. Just go over to find a playlist. And all your playlists that you created are going to be here. And we just find the one, one we want to put. So say we want to put uh, what we did on holidays. I'm just taking one at random here. Click it. Pops up. Hit done. And you're good to go. So once again, just come here, hit add playlist, add content, select content, single playlist, go down to find playlist, and just find the one you want. Uh, there we go. Let's take this one, hit done, and you're done. It's as simple as that. And if you do not have, uh, here, I'm going to come back for a second just so I don't share that part with you, but I want to show you something. What I love that YouTube has done, and I really, really love this. It's so long overdue because playlists were always such a pain to uh, modify. Now, all you have to do is once they're up there, if you do not have descriptions or you want to change the titles and stuff like that, just find the playlist you want to do to it, click on the title, and there you go. You got a pencil for doing your titles, and you have a pencil for your description. And once again, I cannot stress this enough. Catchy titles, catchy descriptions, no different than any video you do. Because these terms in the title and the description is going to be part of how you get discovered. So you want to get really good terms into it that play on what your, what your playlists are about. Now, one last one I can touch on too since we're doing playlists is to create your own uploads playlist. And this helps amazing with watch time. This, this is what I would call a... Uh, YouTube hack and it really is amazing. We'll just open up this one here. Should I change it every other week? Oh no, 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 you don't have to do it every other week. No, no, Retro, get them up there and then you can move the videos around in order and stuff like that. So you can grab videos like right here. You could grab them, just click, hold it and you can drag them back and forth. You can move them around, set the order or you can click on these three dots and go to playlist settings and go to advanced settings and there we go and then you can drag them in here as well or you can change how they're ordered just click on this playlist settings button now there you go and you want to public and you want to by order you want to by date publish most popular manual if you're moving them around however you choose <coughs> Everybody has an uploads playlist. Everybody on YouTube has one by default.
but here's the trick to getting a ton of watch time this this is the real YouTube hack and a lot of channels have tried this since and got so much if you really folks take a note of this one if you haven't seen it before okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put date published because sometimes you'll create you know things up earlier but you have them scheduled or whatever the case so set it to date publish newest then you're gonna come over to auto add the next tab now ours is a little confusing but don't be put off by it here's how it works hopefully your channels in good shape that all of your tags for instance have your channel name into it so let's say they do then you're gonna go here and all you have to go to is you have a choice between something that's common in the title description or tag so there we would put tag Pusha studios are actually the bottom one has that one so here we go tag and this one has see Pusha studios so what this is doing is saying anything that has in the tags Pusha Studios, add it to this list. Now we went over and above to make sure we got them all because we were late getting the game and make sure we covered ourselves. But if your channel, you're guaranteed, for instance, that your channel tags all have your channel name in it, for instance, or something common in all of them, then take tags, type in the word. When you hit save, it's gonna look through and say we found 98 videos or 148 videos or 217 or 10,000, how many you got? Do you wanna add them to the list? You're gonna say yes and it's gonna do this and now it is doing it automatically for you. It's working the exact same as an upload. But once again, the benefit of that is because it's, here, let me get one up here, where is it? Because it's a custom one, you've added what the YouTube one doesn't have you've added searchability to it because you now have a, uploads with your channel name in it and the more popular you become, the more this will come recommended to people and you have descriptions which help with the searchability. And this helps so much with watch time, I can't even begin to stress how much it assists you. So definitely, if there are, there's people, I don't know if they're in the channel right now, but lots have tried it and have gotten amazing. Uh, wait, all your tags have your channel's name into it? What does that mean? You should have in your channel, you have your tags. And uh, I'm trying to think there's a channel the other night was a great example of it. You should have, not at the Cent top. Centroid? Centroid, Centroid, yes, was one of them. And also uh, Chosen, uh, Chosen, they spelled, with, they spelled Chosen with a Z. I forget mm -hmm, the channel mm -hmm, name. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Dutch Chosen, Chosen Dutch, yeah. Yeah, Chosen Dutch, that's right. Remember, your, your tags have hierarchy. You want your most important tags for your video and that at the top. But down towards the lower bottom, you want to have your channel name as a tag. And you also want to have any misspellings or your common misspellings of your channel name. So sense with a ch uh, chosen Dutch that spells it with a Z, one tag with chosen Dutch spelt the way the channel is. And then I recommend putting another one in there with chosen with an S. So either way, if people misspell it while typing, they have a better chance of still getting back to his channel. I'm mind boggled. I didn't know what playlist I would choose and what game I should show off. Well, that's something you kind of got to look for yourself and just kind of look around and see what represents you best. And I just put up some at the bottom here. Now these ones here, they turn around a bit. Our most important ones at the top, always put your uploads one at the top. And for that uploads, you want to put the exact same way your channel name is spelled, by the way. And you want to spell uploads the exact same way YouTube spells theirs. So ours, of course, push the studios, space, uh, see it's spelled the exact same. Push the studios and space uploads the same way YouTube spells it. But after that, just find a good recommendation to show people of what. Because there you have control. There you can put in front of people what you want them to know about your channel what you think best represents you. I always call the video one the junk folder because it is. It's either sorted by oldest, newest, or most popular. It's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no purpose to it. This has a sense of purpose for your channel as well. When people land onto it right away, they can see you've put more effort into it. They're more likely to think, oh, there's something here I should see. Very important, especially in networking and stuff like that. Because anything that can catch them right off the bat and say, oh, this channel's doing something with it. We have a better chance of winning them over. So that's uh, that's pretty much what I'd say on that one. I don't that anything else on that I forgot. Yeah, I know you're a very uh, uh, 
very Sorry. detailed, thorough yeah, explanation. I hope it helps uh, people out there. Yep. Uh, exploration with Carl asks, uh, how do you hit it big time? <laughs> well, if, anybody, if everybody would know how to do yeah. it, everybody would be doing it. The right time, right place, right subject, right length. It just <coughs> hits at the right, right time, right place. You the know? only advice I always say, folks, all these things we talk about, some say, oh, well, tags aren't important, some of this and that. Everything is important it because is. it helps us. It's not going to hurt you by having there. It can only help. And be ready for the time in case luck ever strikes because 97% of it, like Casey and I said, stead, said is luck. But you got to have something to watch. And I bring up Peter McKinnon all the time when you shouted him out. Why did he get 600000 <laughs> Pardon me, sorry. Anybody can shout you out. But if there's nothing there to watch, they're not coming back. They'll come in droves, but they're not going to follow and it hurts you worse with the algorithm when it's said and done. Thank you. Just hard because I play more retro games that isn't really trending oh on contraire unlike newer games but i have there's a gigantic niche in there remember folks this is the year of niche within a niche it is so important to find out there's a world full of doctors and a huge short of specialists and that's what youtube wants now don't worry about what's made channel abc famous worry about the rest of the ones that are asking questions that are not getting answered and that means that's what youtube is looking for and i bring him up a lot lately is a great example of it is farm all fanatic is one of those channels why because there's a lot of farming channels there's a lot of tractor channels where farm all has has dedicated his whole channel a one round one antique brand of tractors and that's what's getting his track his channel the momentum now because over time the algorithm is starting to look at him as kind of a resource for people who are looking for that. There's because everything has been done, folks. It, it, it's a, a sea of everything. No matter, you know, people say you know, gaming is the most heavily saturated niche on YouTube, but so is the point where it's become that for knitting and mechanics and everything. There's just so many channels out there. The algorithm has nowhere to go to recommend, and they want to get people clear concise advice remember youtube is the second biggest search engine in the world so they're looking for people who can give direct solid advice on a topic so don't worry about what everybody else was doing that got them popular worry about what question wasn't asked that that's 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 the state of youtube it is the year of niche and so i see what you're saying and i get what you mean thank you so much thank you for everything oh my god no problem hey it was a great conversation I'm always happy to talk about that that's always I'm not a doctor, but I did spend last night in a Holiday Inn Express. Oh my God, Philip, <laughs> you are on a roll tonight. You are on a roll. Sorry, I will get back to the questions. I uh, exploring with Carl here asked about uh, we should get a person that have gone viral here. We have had interviews with numerous creators uh, that have talked about that. We have had Sean Ward that is now at four million subscribers and hundreds of thousands and millions of views on its uh, videos. We had Traveling Clot talking about his uh, word to fame. He's at 200, I think, now. Um, you know, we, we had uh, so many people, so many creators that talked about that. Uh, we had some creators from Australia talking exactly about that, about the uh, viral video and the formula to that. Uh, so we have a lot of that. If you go into our playlist section, we do have Tube Life number one and number two. And, and there are a lot of golden nuggets there shared by creators who are and have been successful up there. I, I, I got to say for the record, you know what always bothered me? And I will say this. It was some of the lower draws of shows we ever did. And that always yeah. that always bugged me because we brought in people that you would spend hundreds of dollars to see at VidCom and so many people wanted to see them. And then we would go through all that trial and they would be so generous with their time. Sean Ward show, I just showed his channel, had one video alone over 633 million. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it, I, I don't know. That that always bothered me a lot. And people would say, like, there he is. Uh, I was just bringing it up. There he is there. He spent two hours with us, folks, just taking questions from everybody. That was a golden nugget show. He literally was sharing every little piece that he yep. knew about YouTube, and he has been on YouTube for more than 10 years, so he knows all ins and outs, and uh, you know, that's the videos that you can take advantage of and, and listen from them, because we have learned tremendously from them as well, from these De interviews. Definitely. And the ones in there got a lot of great advice. It just amazed me. 
you know, some people would say, oh, I want to grow, I want to grow, and you'd bring in people like that, and there would be some of the lower numbers, and I just, mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, it was surprising. It, it always was. That's one thing that always kind of stuck in my craw about that, because, uh, I, I mean, what a golden opportunity to talk to somebody that has so much experience like that in exactly what everybody was trying to do here. That's why my issue with networking, we're a networking channel, but I've always told people it's not all about networking. If all you're doing is networking, you're digging yourself a nice big hole, and that's been proven time and time again. It's about balance. Great to network, but if you have nothing to see when people get over there, there's no... Well, of course we won't, uh, Shamar Log, but I got another button for you I think you're going to like just as much. Now, my Punjabi is not the best, but I think what you just told me was to hit the old uh, hide user on this channel. Now, I apologize. Like I said, my Punjabi is not perfect, so I'm just giving that a try. Alrighty, folks, there you go. <laughs> well, I gotta have some fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my goodness. And I've also linked to the, our uh, playlist for our season two, because that's where most of them are. Uh, so I'll post that link uh, to you guys as well here in a second, so you can check it out. And our next question here was, uh, let me get to the questions. If, it, if it's gonna open. Uh, next question was uh, from Cooking Green Bastard Style who asked, how can one see what tags are associated to a channel's video? Uh, TubeBuddy, uh, vidIQ, Social Blade, they'll all show you. Just remember folks, if you copy somebody's tags and stuff like that, you're setting yourself up for a real bad mess. Yeah. Uh, definitely. You can't uh, copy the tags because, first of all, they're not going to work for you. Uh, tags uh, should be super uh, individual, you know. Uh, they should be uh, the ones that work for you. If you're just copying them, I can guarantee you they are not work for you because they are not geared to what you're doing and they are not geared to the stats, analytics that you have on your channel. So don't even waste your time on that. There you go. See, Social Blade and all them will show you right there when you go on the video. So you can see them through there and there. Yeah, and uh, view, uh, view, uh, vidIQ. Uh, That's what I mean. You've yeah. got vidIQ down here. I don't have TubeBuddy on right now. I had to shut one of them off, so I got that in Social Blade. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, definitely. But you, you can uh, get in, like influenced by it. You can get like idea of uh, the subject of uh, that your video is about and then kind of research what other people are using and see which ones of those are maybe working for you. Mm -hmm. or, like use it as a base of knowledge, so to say but definitely not copying uh for sure mm. for sure uh there you go yeah. and stop if you're putting in all kinds of names especially like that watch because if you, some people think oh i can uh put in casey neistat and all these names it's gonna get me views it can get you a nice big juicy uh community strike <laughs> it is stuffing unless you're talking about them the whole time you're on that time you can't be doing that. Salvatore, thank you so much. And hello to Pixel Master hey, Kira. How yeah, we're are an you? odd time today. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> we're an odd time. Hey, Ryan's World, how are you? <laughs> uh, next question uh, here is, and uh, now let me go to the very beginning of my, my drive notes have been extended almost 100 pages here. Uh, okay, next question here from uh, Animation Princess who asked, do you get all the revenue from memberships? No. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> like everything else on YouTube, they take their cut 30%. Yeah. They're good that way. Very good. Only them credit cards and the mafia have those kind of rates. <laughs> next question. <laughs> I cry. Uh, and next question was from Gary, Conquerville Town. Uh, it's good to watch out for copyright logos, isn't it? Like product names in the videos. I sometimes try to blotch them out. No, this, uh, uh, it depends on what you're doing. See, if you are doing photography and it is commercial photography, then yes, you should be blurring out like stock photography. You should be blurring it out and not include it. Uh, if you're using stock videos, you will do the same thing. As you are broadcasting here and using your personal video, even if it is for monetization purposes, uh, you are not blurring it out. It is not copyrighted unless you use it instead of a brand, like a brand logo in your uh, thumbnail, let's say. That would be uh, something that you shouldn't be using. You could get a strike for and even a lawsuit for that. 
uh, but uh, having it in the background or having the uh, the actual store let's say in the background or the product there that is not against it because it is not it has different laws and regulations than it is for stock videos and photography yeah. so actually they appreciate when they get seen and stuff like that sometimes the bigger ones are covering them up because they haven't been paid to endorse them that's why they're not showing them like in the back of it a uh, bit of interesting information i just i read today uh one uh, british twitter uh actually uh, falsely striked uh one of the bigger youtubers for using their tweet in the video Mm -hmm. because they thought it's copyrighted well it's not it's public space and twitter or tweets uh can be used without any copyright <laughs> <laughs> just fyi uh, okay next question here uh is, rob random asked is it just me or lives not getting tagged as live uh, when you look at your subscriptions to see who is live it's not it's happening with everybody youtube is aware of it and that they call it a glitch as well, too. They're also pushing back to give more room for uh, uh, established journalist, uh, journals, uh, journalistic coverage of the current events going on. So it's kind of a mix of both of them. But they are aware of it. And yes, it's happening immensely. Hey, Wood Pigeon, how are you? Good to see you, Jason. Uh, to, to quote YouTube itself, they said, if your recent video stream isn't showing up in search, or like video or live stream, uh, up next in the homepage is likely due to the current events impact on our teams and extended workforce. Content may not show in search, homepages, etc. until a reviewer takes a look at it and with fewer viewers available, this is taking longer. And therefore they say it is uh, not uh, coming up uh, into uh, suggestions as much as well as uh, subscriptions because live streams are more uh, volatile, they're more sensitive because it's happening in live, right? And if there is nobody review to review it, they're most likely are not gonna put it as much in a homepage uh, for suggested videos. Uh, as for the video itself, uh, like pre-recorded video is easier to review uh, because it's most likely it's less sensitive uh, topic or less sensitive at that time. Uh, so that's why live streams get hit even more these days uh, and they're not showing up there. Uh, and, and you have to scroll or even worse, you have to literally look for the channel itself to find the live stream because it's not anywhere to be found unless you look for it directly. And uh, they admit it's, it, it's, it's a glitch, but uh, unfortunately I don't think it's gonna change anytime soon uh, until we're out of the situation. GG's Recipes, hello, how are you doing? Uh, Wood Pigeon Outdoors, good to see you as well. Uh, not to be mean, but if you've done everything right, you've got to ask yourself at some point, is my content any good? Well, of course, it's all good. Uh, it all goes into a uh, combination, uh, you know, between the content and the packaging. I like to call it packaging. I really don't think that just content can push you through because, see, uh, we have covered so many categories, so many niches with people and channels all across. And sometimes there's a lot, there's a lot of channels with great content and, and no subscribers and no views. So I wouldn't really say that uh, just pushing the content is going to work. Uh, you know, uh, you definitely got to ask yourself that question, but it's definitely not. I wouldn't say it's the main thing. I think you got to do both at the same time. Our son had a little issue. He went to the closet and some of the stuff came back on him. I thought I had heard a noise like that. It was him trying to get everything picked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, here's the threshold. Any t ice road, uh, ice rose. It's been two years and I still haven't hit the watch time threshold. We just talked about that playlists, playlists, playlists. And if you're posting, uh, uh, videos, definitely make them better, shorter, at least to train your audience to watch them all so they can come back, uh, return and watch uh, another video again. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay, ready for next question sure. uh, folks uh, oh, sorry just uh, don't forget folks to please hit that like button if you haven't already uh, tweeting out all that stuff it really does help out so much so thank you and the next question here uh, from simply Tina I really enjoyed the couple of live streams I did having said that do you think it's maybe not the time for introducing new things right now uh, live streams in general if you're gonna be doing a lot of them you're gonna be wanting to look at a second channel we said that time and time again. There's a reason why we don't upload. You, have, you followed us for a while. You've seen a couple of weeks ago. We tried uploading once or twice. The views were minimal at best. YouTube doesn't market. Oh, well, this is a live stream and this is a video. And they tend to kind of uh, you put it in a print. So if you're either an uploading channel or you're a live streaming channel, uh, really 
I really recommend avoiding them at all costs, one or two a month maybe, and they should be on topic to what you do. Uh, a lot of you have been on here for a while. You've watched many a channel go down in flames from doing it. Uh, and for us, like we have a new show we were looking at doing. We have to open a new channel for it. We're not going to do it here. We will not do an upload channel because it is not worth it. It, it. As much as it would make our life easier to put it on here, it's not going to get the traction it should get. Remember, live streams go up on a quick high and a, and a fast low. They're made for that. But videos go on more of an incline because you wanted to get evergreen growth. I really, really, I mean, I've been saying that for a long time. Strongly, strongly recommend not getting into live streams if you're an uploading channel. I know a lot of people are saying, and I, oh my God, I cringe lately. And it's coming back again. People, especially in some network streams, telling people, oh, you got to open a live stream. You got to get a live stream. That's how you're going to get a, you're going to grow if you get a live stream. No, it's a good way to sync your channel. Well, uh, Pixel Monster Kira just asked, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people say grow channels can hurt growth. So what's your opinion on that? Oh, definitely. I mean, let's call it for what it is. And I'm not going to get on a big soapbox here and all that stuff. We're, we start off as a cinematic channel. We are a growth channel. We do do networking shamelessly, without doubt. We certainly do. And that's the truth of it. And as you can see, since last year, when you go look at our about section and when you look at our tight, our, our banner and you look at all these things, everything here is a live channel. This is not an upload channel. It's as simple as that. That's exactly what it is. Live streams offer a completely different product. And that's what happens. I, I mean, I see it happening. I'm, we're not stupid. We, I've watched more channels come in here and usually if somebody puts that idea in their head that, oh, you need watch time? Network. You're gonna, and then they say, well, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to do it until I get my time and then I'm not going to do it anymore. If you want to do it all the time, do it. Just understand that you're not going to be able to turn back the clock. It's not going to go back to being a knitting channel later on. It's not going to be a uh, mechanic channel. It's not going to be a Viking channel or whatever it is that channel did. It is gone now. You're not going to be able to do that. And that's what some people are being told. And that's the wrong information that you can use it as kind of like a stepping stone to get quickly to monetization. And then you can go back and put it to what you want, what it once was before. It doesn't work that way. And many channels are gone now from doing it, many. And as a side note with networking, if all you do is networking day after day, meat marketing, it, it runs out. I, 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 you can, don't quote me on it, watch it. You see it happening time after time, after time, after time. Happy you know. Lux is here, good to see you. Uh, yes, you gotta hop on more often. I <laughs> know <laughs> uh, Madam Broken says I'm a perfect example that live streams will kill a yes. channel dead. He had to make two channels now. He has no Madam Broken, no Madam Broken live for that. Gill skills, skill skills, skill skills live. And Prairie Boy 77 says, Do you guys want to see what happens to an upload channel that does live streams too? Question mark. Look at mine. I may have to start a new channel. Yeah. It it is what it is, you know, and it's hard to talk about because you know what's going to happen. Every time we do, there's going to be somebody say, oh, look at Pusa Studios. They don't want competition. Network till the cows come home. If that's truly in your blood and you feel you have to do it, that's not me. It's, uh, either we're going to have a good channel or we're going to bomb. And it's what it is. The, you know, you can't keep. There's millions and millions and millions of channels. It's just if you're going to do it, for the love of God, separate them. Make a new channel because that's exactly what happens when it's said and done. You know, it, 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 it's just the, the nature of the beast. Uh, once we were able, I thought about live streaming our band. Is this something we should create another channel? If you're going to go, okay. Um, if you're a channel that does, I don't know, gardening. And once a month you go live to catch up with your folks and talk about gardening and let them ask you some questions about it. Have a couple of laughs through that. It's not bad. It's 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 you can't be can't have both feet in the water. Then everything sinks. That that's what it's about. If you want to do stuff like that, that's what it was originally meant to be. But if you're gonna live stream all the time, 
uh, or any decent amount. Uh, Bearded Picker's another one. Mm -hmm. Bearded Picker, Picker came in, found us. He was close to 70,000. We got talking about this. And he's like, are you serious? I've heard this. Is it true? And we got talking more and more. Two days later, he started a new channel, Beard, Bearded Picker Live, for that exact reason. You know? Mm -hmm. What does it mean, upload channel? Uh, Davidson Cooking, that means that you only do videos, no live streams. Should I not live stream on my uploading channel? I don't do growth on my channel. I stream every so often, but I upload more. <coughs> Honestly, I would say you'd be upload if you're, you'd do about two live streams a month. It, it's hard to say because none of them are good. I don't think those ones are so detrimental. It's also like if you're doing a way heavier ratio of uploads and do it once or twice a month, it should be okay. But try to keep it on the topic of what you do. And once again, folks, if you have your heart into it, and you want to do both, that's what you want, great. Just pick one channel for the live streaming and the other one for uploading. And whichever one it is, stay consistent on that. And there's, like I say, many examples doing it for that reason. Uh, we can show you we did a video the other week we got what 284 views mm -hmm. that's a channel we know the network's working bad right now we know we're getting trolled to hell right now put all that aside still even with that a channel with over 11,500 getting 200 and some views on a video because some people and I know like fill up ideas but a lot of them miss you know oh Andrew I miss you used to do the trains and that I'd never put a video up here why would I go through all that trouble of editing and that for nobody to see it this is a live streaming channel in every sense of the word. And we own it, we, we do. Uh, it's there, it's in, it's in black and white, literally, right there, that's exactly what it does. There's no mention of any uploads. Heaven Gates, how are you? Great to see you. Everything about this channel is geared about live streams, nothing else. Because we realized that way back then that that's what we had to commit to. We see what was going on. Okay, I'm confused, don't uh, do what, Donnie does. <coughs> we haven't done a video in so long because it's just, yeah, it's, it, it, it's not worth the trouble. One or two live streams are good, three max, but put out at least one or two videos a week at that. Yes, exactly. And I'd even say like about two. Like, uh, I'm nervous of even recommending more. We had Farmall who was doing one a week, but he was also uploading decent regular. But even Farmall has said since he stopped the live streaming, look at his channel. It's jumped exponentially, you know? And he says, now I wonder if I hadn't stopped it earlier, maybe I'd be, instead of 11.5, I'd be at 20 or 15 or whatever the case, you know? I live stream once a week, usually between 250 to 500 views. My uploads usually do about the same. I think once a week, as long as you're doing regular uploads and that, it's about the threat, uh, honestly, the threshold of what it can take. But I'm still nervous about going around the threshold. Well, there he is. There's the man. His ears were burning. <laughs> he loves that. Pusha Pusha That's right. That's right. Exactly, Farmall. I hope you don't mind me. I'm always using you as an example, it seems like lately. You've been an amazing case study. When you upload videos, you get blocked. No, um, no, no, no. We're no. talking about different types of channels. You don't have to live stream. You don't have to. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, up to you. We're talking about the benefits of it doing it or not. It's just lately it's been preached at so many people. Once again, that's been going on for a long time. Xenia, it seems to come in rounds. Mm -hmm. And you'll get these live streams that just, that's that's their answer to how to grow your channel. Now, we're going to help you out. We're experts now in live streaming. And you got to go into a live stream. Basically, what they're creating is an Amway where they want everybody else to live stream because they'll have smaller ones doing networking, which brings them all back to them. In short, that's why they want them to live stream. Let's call it for what it is. And it's a horrible advice because that means at the end of the day, they don't give two shits if your channel's gone down the drain or not. So it, it's there's lots of channels doing very well without live streaming. It's not necessary to grow. It's not your channel's never going to get anywhere if you don't. If you ever hear stuff like that in one ear and out the other. There's videos there's out coming out every day that get way more watch time than any live stream in a day. So... Um, you know, a thousand views on a live stream or a million views on a video. So, there, I guess I'm off my soapbox. I thought I wasn't going to go on it. XO, XO, AIM, how are you doing? How are you? And uh, now we have a question from Exploring with Carl who asked uh, just a quick question from a friend who does a live stream trivia every day. His live stream has been taken off 
Is it due to the TV in the background or the copyright DVD cover? <laughs> well, either or. Yeah, yeah. Take your pick. Both are completely in. Now, copyright DVD cover. You answer your question right there. I mean, obviously, it, it, that has been. Uh, it, now, the question is, if that has been used in the graphics or in the thumbnail, then yes, definitely. If it's only showing it, then no. So I don't no, know. No, you can bring one. up a video DVD and say, I've been watching this lately, and that, yeah. it's not going to hurt anything. TV definitely falls under that because uh, it's in your background. Uh, yeah. You know you know how people sometimes show the shows that they shouldn't be showing, and all they do is just take a video of their own TV? <laughs> well, that's basically what it is. Uh, you're not supposed to uh, purposely put anything out there or interact with the content that is copyrighted. So I would call, uh, I, I think in the context of this, I would call the TV in the background that definitely caused that, uh, for sure. Uh, mm. You can't you can't use, uh, you can't just put anything there. You gotta be mindful of what you have. It's famous with the radio uh, that you have in your own house. So you know, now with the new copyright laws, uh, you, like if you're in the restaurant, that's a different story. But if you are at the concert, if you're on your own house or something that you can switch on and off yourself, uh, well, that goes into the copyright uh, on YouTube. So you get a strike for it. This morning with Carl, it's okay. But remember, if you do live streams on your channel, you will get trolls. People, you're doing a live stream, you will get uninvited guests like on Pooja Studios. That is a big part of it as well. You introduce a lot of friggin' drama. Because it's instantaneous, super chats, stuff like that, and that's what drives most of them on here. So, yeah, yeah you're going to get a lot of that, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, Pixel Master Gear, I don't understand your question uh, on this topic. What yeah. if you don't host a live stream? What do you mean? Uh, just there is no host, and there's yeah, I music didn't going? Uh, like, I, I didn't get that either. Yeah, if you can explain for us. Maybe like when there's only music or more is it screen? I don't know. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit more detailed on that one. Uh, thank you so much, Brandy. Yes. Thank you so much. Another great channel. It's so great to have you in here. Thank you. Uh, we have another question from Gary. Uh, how many minutes do you have to broadcast for AdSense to start counting? Now, it used to be 30 seconds, uh, I think, uh, which is a true view for ad. Uh, yeah. Now it's three. Yeah. Uh, so um, usually it's just enough for you to click on it, see it, and click off. <laughs> But the longer you watch it, the better. Yeah. Because uh, if you get the, to the end of it, uh, better uh, CPM rates and all of that. Uh, so if, if that's why you're asking, then uh, yes, watch it all, please. Me and Oji Sun live streams, and we use Streamlabs, him hosting. So technically, no notifications go out from me live streaming with him. And the only way YouTube will know it if they watch the. Well, you might as well not be there. It has yeah. no association with you whatsoever. No, exactly. Whoever's the host of the live stream is the only one that's getting watch time and the penalties from it and the goods and pros and cons. Only the one that's hosting the live stream gets that. Colorado Fisher, we're doing good. Hope you are as well. Always great to see you. And John A. Cook Jr., what's going on? Great to see you as well. Hope you're doing great. Uh, uploading music with the copyright, does it... Uh, uploading music with a video with a uh, required copyright... Uh, oh, video with music doesn't require copyright. Uh, you can only use music that doesn't have copyright. Mm. Uh, so you gotta double check if it does have a copyright. If it does, don't use it. You'll get a strike. Yep. Um, Istros, I missed your question. I see people are answering, but I missed your question. Um, exploring with Carl. Thank you so much Thank for the you. super chat. Another two pounds. You're too kind. You're too kind. Thank you so very much for that. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you so very much. Istros has a similar question that we started our questions with. Took a break for three months, which was my longest break ever. Do you think it's going to be hard to bounce back from mm -hmm. that? Start putting out videos and start getting out content. Show YouTube your back. You have to put out more than you usually would for a bit to really catch his attention until you get back up and running. Uh, definitely, yeah. And it was kind of the same what we answered to the live yeah. of SR. So if you want to go back uh, to that question, uh, we uh, got a little bit more into detail. Uh, but I'm recording the live stream and posting video on my channel, and I have gotten a little bit of subs collabing with him. Oh, wait a minute. Are you putting the whole thing up as an entirety, Pixel Master? Like from beginning to end, the exact same thing he has up? And please answer no to that. Because mm. if you are doing that, that's duplication, and uh, one of you, most likely you, are going to get hit by it because his was posted first. Yep. And so it does happen. It's not, it, it's, not always, <laughs> it's not always copyright, right? So if you would do that without his permission, he could claim a copyright. 
Now, first of all, I would say, do you really know a person? I mean, we, we know audition draws, but like in yeah. general, usually we don't suggest it because you never know what happens, you know, a year down the road. Uh, and somebody who posted it first <coughs> can claim a copyright against you. But then this is duplication. If it's all one on one, the same is duplication. It doesn't need you. It means that it doesn't need him to hit you with a copyright strike. It's just YouTube wants original content up here. It finds multiple uh, connect uh, multiple copies of the same thing up. And whether he did it live and you post it after, it's still the same content. And whammo, one day you wake up and you got a community strike on your channel. Oh my, Colorado Fisher got electrocuted just now, literally. I oh wasn't paying God. attention to a thunderstorm behind me, hooking to a six pound fish, and while finding, I got electrocuted two times. The third time, I felt it through my body and was like, oh yeah, my I'm God. Done. Well, yeah, I bet with a fishing pole and mm. a thunderstorm, my goodness, I, I'm glad you're uh, safe and alive. <laughs> Well, the, yeah, wow, that, that trumps everything going on right now. Yes, uh, good you're here to type it. <laughs> and I don't blame you for getting fed up over it and leaving. I think you did the right thing. He Hope said, okay. okay, okay. well, he said I could. That's one part of it, okay? Yeah. So let's just leave that till, let's just, all, it's all good, okay? Uh, like Andrew said, uh, when you upload something one-on-one -on -one, uh, that is already has been uploaded on YouTube, it's uh, uh, deemed not creative and therefore goes under duplication community standards uh, rules. And therefore, you, your, uh, your content can be taken down and you can get a strike. And let's say if you would be monetized, you would be demonetized for 30 days for that. Because you can't put one on one exactly what has been already posted. Mm -hmm. You can use it as a base and segments, it, uh, segments stuff. highlights. Uh, you can uh, uh, you know change it up something, edit, put your own spin to it. That's different. But when you put something one on one that is already somewhere else on YouTube, that's duplication. And if you get caught on that, well, then that's your consequence. And it does happen. It yeah. does happen. We've known channels gotten hit for duplication. Well, uh, so my husband can't post the same video on his channel like I post them. No, definitely not. No. no. Who's there back? How are you doing? Oh my I God! Your post on Facebook. How are you doing? You guys have been having a rough year, regardless of what uh, is going up, ups and downs. So I hope you feel better. Who's there back? Outdoors. Good to see you. It's just nice to have you in the chat. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for jumping in. And Colorado Fish says it felt weird. A slight uh, tingly sensation all over. I can imagine. Thank God it was only that struck by lightning. If that's all you got, if, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> that's, if, that's, if there's an upside to this. If we wouldn't have a situation, I would tell you to go to the hospital because yeah. it can actually deter your heart rate. Is a duplication if you post a clip, change the bit from a previously upload? You got to change it enough that it's not the same thing. It can't have the same character into it. You got to be really careful. So if I go in and cut some of it out, it might be okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. You break it up into pieces, put a little bit, you know, a little bit of your own spin onto it and stuff like that. No, Mike, you know <laughs> the answer to that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. No, you can't do that. This is different. They have a permission. Ask the tractor. The tractor was here earlier. The tractor will tell you that one, Mike. <laughs> now, again, nothing again, audition draws, okay? But uh, just l let's pretend you have a collab with somebody else. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's exactly what I was yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, one of our favorite channels of all time. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I even forgot what I want to say. Okay, oh my so God. let's say you collab with somebody else because I don't, I don't want to like sound like it's against audition draws. We love audition draws. It's not against. <coughs> just imagine you're collabing with somebody else, yeah. okay? And they just said, well, yeah, you can use it. Nah, uh, get them it in writing in the email at least so that you, when you ask, can I use this and this and they answer you directly what you can use. So then if they, uh, I don't know, two years down the road when they turn their back against you, uh, you know, hit you with a copyright strike because you use it and it's still there. Uh, then you have a proof that they uh, had allowed it to do because it happens more than you think. Uh, we had Val, remember? Yeah. Uh, that had a, a tremendous ordeal with regards to that using a part of a clip that she, well, she was told to is okay to be used, but then later on she was uh, hit with a copyright for that clip, uh, although she was allowed to do it at the beginning like it uh yeah uh so please just make all assurances okay. i want to give you guys the biggest piece of advice and this is all seriousness i'm taking off the echo everything and this is not going to be a happy message but this is the most truthful message i can give you 
and this is tried and true from being on here for over two years. If there's one piece of wisdom I can pass down to you that you will take with you. You know, I always say this is not a social media. This is a creator's platform. Who is your friend today has a good chance of becoming your enemy tomorrow. And this is not me blowing smoke. I could show proof up the wazoo. I got list list of people that championed for us, fought us, that then a month later we hit another thousand and then despised us. And that is going to be on. And, and that is why it's so important, no matter how much somebody says something's okay, how much you mind, and this has got nothing against anybody in this chat, anybody, I'm talking YouTube-wide, and I'm stating this as a fact, don't get involved with something that's going to bite you in the ass down the road because the day they're angry at you, they're going to take what they said was okay that time, and they're going to nail you with it because you they have the chance to do it. So if I can give one piece of advice, be an island on here, reach out, collaborate with people, do all that stuff, but protect your channel because what works today with somebody, tomorrow they could be wishing you have the eyes burning out of your head. And that's the simple truth of being on YouTube. And especially, especially if you're going to be in live streams, that is more true than ever was. So take it for with a grain of salt. Run with it. This is no attack on anybody. For instance, they're talking about Uji san We love Uji san Got nothing to do with anybody in here. This is just the stated fact of the way YouTube was. If we had done a lot of that stuff with so many people, I mean people that stood up for us, fought for us, that we were, you know, and then I watched them. Within a thousand, they were gone, and they were screwing us left, right, and center. And every time, I've seen it happen time and time and time again. So if I can give you a piece of advice, that's what it is. Collaborate, work together, help each other out. But never sit there and say, I'm going to leave something on my channel because we're good friends and they said it's okay and all this stuff's going to happen because I watched too many channels get nailed here for that. So take it if you will. Don't take it if you will, but just food for thought. And that goes to everybody in here. I cannot stress that enough. I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm talking about how it works on this platform. So just something to think about. And I mean that, folks. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be over dramatic. I'm just saying that's a state of fact. And I just want everybody to hear it straight from my mouth how I feel about it. Because I see it happen so many times. I don't know how many times we got messages from people. How many times it could happen to us if we had not been careful. And that's been what saved us a lot of times was not doing those kind of things. Because... I know a lot of them would have done it to us the day after they turned on us, would have done it in a heartbeat. Yeah, it's just uh, like uh, advice from a bigger, <laughs> from an older brother or something the, like that. This morning, you guys were in here, we were getting trolled. That's the lunatic that a couple months ago was saying we were the greatest thing in the world. That It changes here all the time like that. The, 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 what I've noticed about that as a side note is, and it follows into that, once they say something nice about you, they think they have control over your channel. It's the same as doing that with a video. They start pushing their own agenda on what you do, and then when you don't allow it, that's when they can turn against you and do all that stuff. So this morning was a great example. We got trolled for 20 minutes by some uh, human orangutan. That, uh, <laughs> that's, that sounds like a fair assumption. <laughs> and, and it's over that. So, you know. Once again, there was proof this morning what goes on here, so. Like meatloaf through the straw, so are the days <laughs> for YouTube. I was by drawn, my goodness, what a comparison right there. Yeah, so once again, it is it is two separate I like things. That. I just want to clarify for mm. Pixel Master. So the email that you're mm -hmm. writing is with regardless uh, to just, you know, breathe on both sides easy with regardless to copyright. Uh, but but you still uh, would be liable for duplication from YouTube regardless of, of what Audition says or doesn't because that's YouTube. That can be flagged altogether. Uh, so there's two uh, things applicable there. And thank you for asking because I, 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 I hope that that solves something out. David! Yes, David. David just walked in the house, enjoyed the show last night with him and Juliet. It was a fantastic mm -hmm. listen. I was listening while I was setting up. But those guys... <laughs> You guys are too much. You guys crack me up. Oh, my God. Mystic Mountain Forge. Hello. How are you doing? Great to see you. I always say it, folks. It was just on the History Channel, Mystic Mountain Forge, about two weeks ago on Forged in Fire. Competed on there. How cool is that? I want to push Studio's shirt. Well, mm. funny you mentioned that. Up <laughs> until uh, April 1st, well, the night, 3 a.m. Eastern, 
on April 1st, so not tonight, but next night, so you have almost 24 hours for that. Uh, we have a sale going on on Teespring where uh, you can get 10% off and the, uh, all the earnings go 100% uh, supporting our channel. Teespring has given us uh, this amazing opportunity here. So instead of uh, most of the money going to them, as it always does, <laughs> uh, yeah. now uh, all of it will go to the creator. So you can use a stay safe code <clears throat> to get the discount and uh, uh, have that opportunity to support the channel through uh, getting our merchandise. Uh, so it only works till tomorrow's night at 3 a.m. Eastern. Uh, check that out. A link is down below in the description as well as in the chat. Hey there, Alex. How you doing? Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Oh, you're very welcome, David. David and Juliet, um, we talked about guests a while ago. David helped us a lot with some of the guests that we got on here. We were talking more about the YouTube side. David got us the people that are on TV and stuff like that. I am so getting those leggings. David, I would love for you to get those leggings. I will do everything in my power to get you in the set of those oh leggings. <laughs> David is awesome. Oh, my God. Well, we do have joggers, actually, that are maybe would fit a little bit better, but I don't know about the leggings. They're moving to New Orleans, and they want us to come down visit. We go down there. The, all four of us are going to be in the, in the clink. I can see it coming. It will be a fun time. But we're well, so there you go. If you get your leggings, uh, you get 10% off, and all the rest of it goes directly to supporting the channel. <laughs> supporting and our bail money when we and go visit you get them. it delivered right to your door yeah, that's right that's right <laughs> ben bird person how are you great to see you as well hope you're doing fantastic and also jackie hooder is in the chat our resident sweetie how you doing hope you're doing great folks if you haven't hit that like button yet please do it really does help us out more than you'll ever know do we have our next question hon uh no uh we kind of got into the chat already oh, really? with all the questions yeah oh my god does anybody else have any questions that we missed uh, we d chaps. Do we have sisless chaps? No, no chaps. Yes, no chaps. That we're looking into. That's right. <laughs> we have to come down. Well, oh my goodness, definitely. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, you don't have to convince me. You're gonna convince this fella here. <laughs> well, you started that. No. And there, Philip. More Juliet, and of course, more wifey here. Philip's always about the ladies. Philip's always watching. David and I are just. You uh, know, uh, since we all are in isolation here, uh, maybe we should do uh, another. Well, maybe we should join them on their virtual bar on one of the Saturdays. That That'd they be do. fun. I, I I had to go back and watch it. Xenia was watching that night. She was laughing out there. I didn't know what. And then she told me I had to go back and check it out. Yeah, it looks I like an amazing time. I usually don't do that. I, I don't ask for invitation or invite myself into, <laughs> but I I know these guys don't mind. So. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions now, Mike. I know, I know. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Bring up a whole array. Handpay Jack, well, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Uh -huh. I'm fortunate enough in my state that fishing and hunting is essential and allow so I can keep filming and since I'm in the mountains I keep my distance. Really? That is interesting. That is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. That's, yeah. that's a great way to do it right there. And that's making the best of it and you got content to boot while you're doing it. And the videos, Colorado Fisher does some amazing videos. You see there's those channels in all the niches. There's some of them that are getting it and just making great content. You can see it. That would be great. You two have an open invite? Well, we would love to. That would be so much fun to do. Oh, definitely. It would yeah. be great just to relax one of these Saturdays. Yeah. Uh, and it's on the right time we can do it. We can actually sit down and have a drink and enjoy it. Exactly. We'd love to. Um, yeah, for every question that gets answers to or created. Well, that's what we're here <laughs> for. We're learning from each other, guys. Uh, and great questions tonight. Yes. That's why it is one, uh, our favorite night of the week. Big shout out to Xenia once again, mm -hmm. folks. Like I said, she is suffering from a bad toothache, and with everything going just on, just pull it out, just get over it. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no. We gotta get. She was set to have a root canal, and then all this hit, and of course, everything shut down. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Fonseyama review, we're doing well. <laughs> Ex I'll exclude that, but yeah, so uh, it's good yeah. to see you. And Andrew is under the weather with his voice. Probably tomorrow he's going to lose it completely. And then I'm going to be hosting the show. And good luck with that because I don't know anything about OBS. Squealing. <coughs> You're going to be silently clapping. Uh, he's giving virus tests on the island where the boat ramp is. Uh, they're giving virus tests on the island where the boat ramp is. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, they closed all, all state, municipal, and provincial parks. I was talking with Kay about that mm. today. It all is closed and taped off, and it's actually trespassing if, if uh, you get found anywhere. <laughs> That's right. So I don't have to worry about getting a spruce tree sick right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I understand uh, why they're doing it. I know why they're doing it because they have little control over the area. They don't want people mingling. Yeah. I, I get it. And they don't want people traveling either. They want people at home. 
Don't want to spread. Xenia and I are both at higher risk because I have a, I get an infusion every four weeks of Remicade, and that lowers my immune system by about up to 70%. Xenia has fibromyalgia, so we have to be a lot more careful. And I see some people not being careful. The majority are. It's always just a couple of dumb ones, but I have to thank you guys for it. I joined your channel when I have only, I think, half a K. Took your advice about marketing and quality and originality and how to sell the channel. Well, Colorado Fisher, that's probably the nicest thing we could hear. We appreciate that so much, but you're the one doing the effort mm. and doing the work. But it is rewarding to see people. Folks, that's all we've ever wanted to try. Like I said, it's no secret. You know that if we had done a wheel night tonight, we would have gotten more people in here in a short amount of time. And that's not a bad thing, you know. You can convert some people over. We're not. I don't want to be a view snob, and I don't want to be a view whore. All of those are no, really we're bad. Yellow now. Both sides of them are bad. Okay, really, really bad. But you know, there is some that I do say. You know, oh, I want to grow. And forget Tech Talk Tuesday. They don't like the way we do it. That's fine. I get that. But I don't see them in anywhere that is doing like, you know, how to really, t it's great to do networking, but if you're not building up your channel at the same time, there's nothing for people to see. And and it's just such a, uh, it's such a pointless endeavor on that one. And that's what drives me crazy. And then you get people saying, well, you know, we all gotta just do this. We gotta watch people's stuff. We gotta watch, well, for fuck, if you're on YouTube and you don't know, you have to have people watching you. You shouldn't be on YouTube at this point. I mean, real, you know, I mean, it's a little more to it than that. It's just kind of fluff thrown at you. You want to make stuff that draws people to keep coming back. That's what it's all about, is making something that people don't just watch one time, but find interesting enough to watch. Not because they're coerced, not because they signed some sort of pledge to do so, but because they like what you do. And then network streams are great for getting some eyes on it hopefully that some will stay will all stay never ever ever i promise you not everybody will stay impossible but you have a better chance if you have a good channel colorado fisher extend you're up super sick super job super sick super job super sick super job colorado fisher super sick super job super sick super job super sick super job you are so amazing thank you so much thank you so much super sick super job super sick super job super sick super Thank you so Jeez. much for that super sticky soup chat. Thank you very much, Colorado Fisher. As we always say here, thank you for living, lifting the blanket off the budgie cage. And yes, you are on the budgie. And sadly, you are on the cage because it sounds don't. like a curse word. I don't know. Scott Slots channel. Hey, it's been a while. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Another fellow Canadian. Hope you're doing well. WTF Mike says, I just learned that chance. There's a, a phobia of chainsaws. I thought called that common sense. Common sense is a very hard thing to find. Mm. Very, very rare. Oh, I'm so sorry. Exploring with Carl. There is a chat option, right? And they are actually replying almost right away. If not, they are sending you an email. If so, if you click in that little chat and tell them what's going on, uh, they're going to let you know right away what's uh, if there's a problem. Sorry about that. Exploring with Carl. Maybe there is a huge amount of uh, orders in general on this site. I mean, not ours. but <laughs> Oh, no, no. Sure. You can DM us. Uh, just be patient with us because we do get a lot of them. But yeah, uh, DM us and we'll take a look and see if now, we can Now, try that link that I just gave you. Uh, I hope you caught that one uh, and uh, try it out. And if that doesn't work, uh, definitely any time. I did it so... <laughs> I did it so you do that, Drew. <laughs> to Drew. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Exploring with uh, Carl, uh, yeah. Uh, are you are you on Twitter? Mm. Well, that's awesome. I thought he had started a while back, Scott. I remember I even uh, joined it at the time. I remember you were doing a live stream. Oh my God! Thank you. No problem, Retro. Retro, I'm glad you're. I did what you said, and the playlists are. Oh my God! It looks so much better. Thank you. Oh, well, that's awesome. I love that. Good for you. And remember, guys, YouTube is always needs tending. It always does. It always does. Now I'm looking at it, and I'm just going to show it for a second here. This is fantastic. Now the big part is, and try and do this tonight, click on the title, and that's where you edit it and get the descriptions into it because this is great. But now, uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I, okay, I didn't catch this part. Here is something, though, I wouldn't do. Don't show multiple playlists. I would do it more as individual playlists. See, you have your playlist of playlists. 
do playlists, but then show single playlists, not a actual playlist, and have them go across horizontally. Here, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah. You can maybe do one of those at the end, but I would really just go in and let me see here. Customize channel. Come on, come on. Let's get this up. Let's get this show on the road. What is going on? Everything is just froze. Oh my God, YouTube is working bad. Uh, Scott's Gaming says one of his boys are doing a gaming channel, so he's helping him out. That's awesome. No, that's what I was asking because I thought another one of my boys. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Very nice. So there you go, folks. Go to add section. Okay, content, playlist, but go to single playlist. So there's created playlists and then single playlists under that category. Grab single playlists and then go right to the last option, which is find a playlist and then grab and put them individually for that. Because a lot of times those 10, I'll, I'll tell you why in a sec here. Let me show you. I'll take the living photo series. So we'll hit that one. Done. There. Okay. So let me get it up here now. Uh, our channel. Do, 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 do. There we go. Why you're doing it this way is because you should have it on all your playlists, by the way, folks, even if they're not featured, you should have good titles and good description because they get discovered even if they're not being featured. But you want to feature horizontal one playlist at a time like this because they have more tendency to click on them and go through and it gives them more. You let your thumbnails kind of do the talking where the other ones it's kind of not really so featured. So instead, just feature one playlist at a time, uh, and it'll give you this look, and that helps a lot with watch them when they start watching in the, you can put one multiple one if you feel you need to at the end, but I really recommend, and keep them horizontal as they offer you at first, because on phone, it's gonna go vertical by default. Why do I like horizontal better? Because anybody on desktops are gonna see more of a array of what you do. It opens them up to more categories instead of having it vertical where they don't see it. Because I'll give you an example. Somebody lands on our channel and they'll go down and they'll say, uh, YouTube breaking news, meh. Uh, members of the week, oh, whatever. Tech Talk Tuesday, oh, okay, yeah, I like that. Or they go down, go down, uh, oh, I like this. What are they doing on holidays? That looks, uh, what, what do they like? So wherever they click on, you're giving them more of an option to find something that they like on your channel. That's the whole part of it. Think of it, I, it's like, I always say it's like menus in a restaurant. Basically, you're showing an offering of the things that you offer to people so they can find a better chance of something that fits their interests. Because, uh, you know, with interviews, with Tech Talk, with The Wheel, all those things, we have varied categories. So this is a way to get more eyes on to what they do. So, so yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's more what I meant. Great job, but I would definitely change it over to that. You'll get a lot more traction out of it, that's why. So, but good job, I love it, I love it. I love that you're jumping into it, I love that. Uh, sorry about that. Nope. Uh, okay. Just answering here. Um, mm. I missed Full Roller Sarah was asking about the tags for playlists. We covered that a while ago, uh, probably around 30 minutes ago. Mm. Uh, so definitely you can uh, uh, replay it back. It's replayable right now too. Uh, check it out. Andrew was showing exactly that. Uh, he's going to do a game reaction channel. He's going mm. to be greater. That Very is nice. awesome. Mm. Game reaction channel. Well, yeah, and people now are more and more watching and, and playing games. <coughs> it's as great that you're inside. doing it with them. That's the yeah. great part of it. It's always great to see father, son, stuff like that. So hats off to you. I'm glad you're enjoying the time. And it's good to see you once again. Like I say, it's been a while. Hmm. Alrighty, folks. Well, with that said, though, we have been on for a while, but it's been absolutely amazing. This is our favorite night of the week. Uh, I don't know. It's just something about it. It revigorates for the rest of the week. When we get the I grabbed you 22, start popping up. And stuff. I just changed them to the way you said. I see what you're saying. Oh, my God. This is amazing. I love I love your energy. I love it. I love it. We, believe you me, we all feed off of it, each other on that stuff. We all need that by times because YouTube can be quite draining by times. 
and we need these pickups. And honestly, I think for ourselves, we get most of it on Tech Talk Tuesday. So definitely, definitely come back. I'm going to put all the resources uh, to the subject that we talked about today about ads and uh, views on videos down below in the description. So you can check it out yourself. And we're going to timestamp the video as well. So you can jump on to the subject if you missed it uh, without all of our mm. uh, funny and weird intro today. <laughs> <laughs> and folks, if once again, if you haven't considered memberships, hope you guys can look at them. For the price of a super chat, you see lots of people with badges in front of their names. It's a great way to get more out of it. We're going to be having more unlisted streams coming up for members only. You get access to a private Facebook group. You get custom emojis, all that stuff, all kinds of neat things. Uh, there you go. Just head on over and click that join button. It helps us a lot, and it also gives us a chance to do it in a more, in a less distracting form than all the other things that YouTube throws at you. We get to spend more time with you guys. So there you go. And remember, these are in Canadian dollars, so yeah, you folks south of the border and across the pond, that's already giving you guys a discount on that one because our dollar ain't doing too good, so you can take advantage of that. So great to have you guys all in here. Hope you guys had a fantastic night. Uh, be good to each other. Love it. So worth it. Thank you so much, Ben Person. Ben Bird Person. Do appreciate it. Do appreciate it. Uh, great to have channels like you. You're the ones that make us shine. Thank you so much for watching us and uh, follow us on Twitter so you know when we're on live because we're popping up like mushrooms after the rain. Well, that's about as Eastern European as we can get. Yes. Das. That Ciao. was German. I know. I was just jumping away from it. For Try and do them on YouTube. Das wollt ihr. Das wollt ihr. Das wollt ihr. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> Take care. Be well. Bye now. <laughs>